Thank you. Sunday everybody welcome to Disney's Magic Kingdom a uh, smoky Magic Kingdom at that <laughs> that is interesting I don't know why it's so smoky there I think they just had some fireworks go off that's possible I it's see some dapper dance though. I do see the dapper dance so guys we are here today on a mission We've got the Mountain Challenge today. So, let's come right around here. And let's turn it around real quick. I was like, wait, where did Dapper Dance go? Hello, everybody. Hey, guys. I was just wondering where the Dapper Dance went. Oh, they finished. I know, but I didn't even see them leave. I didn't see them leave. They're very good at leaving. They're very fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're very incognito on those things. That's for sure. Hey everybody. Yeah, exactly, Jeff Davis. We're gonna be doing mountain things today. Welcome in everybody. It is the Mountain Challenge. We're here starting off the day at Magic Kingdom. It's uh, it's the afternoon, it's very hot. Yeah. Uh, there was supposed to be a chance of rain, but it looks beautiful, so hopefully it stays away. Uh, we're gonna start with Seven Dwarves Mine Train, hopefully. Uh, we're gonna head over to Thunder Mountain again, hopefully, uh, assuming the weather uh, ban uh, bears with bears. us. Yeah. <laughs> Works with us, yes, exactly. And then uh, from there we're going to go over to Space Mountain, and then we're going to hop over to Animal Kingdom to do Everest, Expedition Everest, for the very first time. Uh, it will be the first time we've ever streamed Space Mountain, and it will be the very first time I've ever ridden Expedition Everest, much less we've ever streamed it. So it'll be an interesting day today, guys. Uh, it won't be a super long one, unless the lines are incredibly long. We'll see how it goes, but <laughs> overall it's definitely going to be fun. It is. A lot of mountains are going to be involved. A lot of mountains. A lot of roller coasters. A lot of chest mount, as we call it, Baby Yoda mode. Baby Yoda mode. Lots of Baby Yoda mode today. Absolutely. So, thank you guys so much for being here. If you haven't already, if you kindly hit the like button for us, it really helps us out. And if you haven't, please subscribe to our channel. That helps us out the most. It does. So, thank you so much, everybody. Thank Let's you, everybody. get to it. Let's do it. So let's make our way to uh, Seven Doors Mountain. Right. Let's do it. Wow, I am sweating a lot already. Yeah, it's yeah. it's really, really, really hot. <laughs> I have my uh, fan in hand because it's it's a scorcher out here, guys. The real feels in the mid to hundreds, uh, which is it's it's very hot for those of you who don't uh, work with Fahrenheit. It, it's 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 very hot. But it's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautifully hot. Good to see you all. Thank you so much for being here today. It is a Sunday, which is not necessarily our typical day, but we're very glad to be here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We intend to uh, do the Mountain Challenge today. We also intend to uh, go to uh, the concert, Simple Plan, over at Epcot tomorrow. So if you're interested in that, make sure you're there for that as well. Uh, we are just heading into the park now, heading towards Seven Doors My Train. Oh, absolutely, Jenna. Staying positive is, is very important. Nikki said, we're going to call this Dangerous Beauty. Dangerous Beauty? It certainly is. It sounds like a beautiful name for an artwork piece. 
about the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you guys, if, I don't know if you know, but the blue uh, parts of the towers have been repainted. It really is uh, quite visible. It is. So we need to head to the right. To the right? Because I don't know that we would keep signal going through the castle. Oh, okay. What do you think? We can try. Yeah, let's try. Robo says, or a new band name, Dangerous Beauty. That is very true. Oh, Plymouth Rock, they are blue. They've just been repainted. Yeah, the uh, blue parts of the tower. So they're a bit more vibrant now. Well, they've got it roped off, so you can't go through the castle right now. So we'll have to walk around. Now we can take a right up here and then take a left. And Kenneth, yeah, Lightning Lane is um, available, but we don't do Lightning Lane. Nope. Uh, so. That's part of the challenge is uh, staying in line. <laughs> yeah. It would be much less of a challenge if we just Lightning Lane everything, because then... There is no challenge. Right? Just... All right, guys, we, uh, we got the Lightning Lane, so now... Uh, in two hours, we'll say goodbye. <laughs> Plus, standing in line lets us hang out with you guys, which is something we very much enjoy doing. So... Is it just me, or does that waterfall look exceptionally refreshing today? <laughs> I think that duck thought so too. Disney duck. Disney duck. Disney duck was like, um, I'm gonna enjoy some of that water. Oh yeah. Look at all the Disney ducks here. Oh wow. <laughs> hey guys. Hey Nathan. Hey Bart Vader. <laughs> Alright, let's head this way. Do you want to take a left here or go on up and then take a left? Alright, let's head this way then. Everyone's like, hey Disney ducks! Duckies! Plymouth Rock says, the water sounds great in my AirPods. That's awesome. Nikki says, waiting in line means more time to think about treats. That's where my mind is. <laughs> Jeff Davis is like the Disney hub. You'll never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. One must be cautious. Todd says, according to Alexa, Orlando is 90 degrees and 48% humidity. Is that accurate? That is a great question. Um, so the bulk of Orlando is just slightly northeast of us. Uh, if you want a more accurate reading for uh, like Magic Kingdom, check uh, the Bay Lake area. But it does feel like 90 degrees with 48% humidity. So uh, we'd say that's pretty accurate. Where is the line for Seven Dwarves? Okay. Let's see. It doesn't look terrible. Doesn't look terrible. Hey Brianna, hey THJP. Mickey Mouse says, I swear my phone is heating up just looking at the park right now. <laughs> it is a warm one. Oh, that's the lightning lane. That's yep. not a good sign. Well, they're waiting for their time. They are waiting for their time. We need to go in, though. We're we certainly in. do. This is that line. Oh, the fans. So many fans. <laughs>
Hey, Chef Skippy. That would be quite a sign here. Joey G says. So we should be back, everybody. Should be. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Now keep in mind, guys, that this uh, this line lags a lot. There is going to be uh, times that we cannot get it back for a little bit. It's just going to happen with this one. Uh, we will get it back as soon as we can. And uh, we'll continue to take you guys on the ride, baby Yoda mode style. But uh, it will certainly lag as we're uh, as we're going through this line. Thank you so much, guys. We appreciate it. Hey, GG. Hey, Quest 360. Hey, Nikki Mouse. Hey, Marty M. Hey, Jeffs. Hey. Sorry. No, you're okay. <laughs> we're doing great, Jeffs. It's a little bit hot, but we're excited for today and all the adventures that's in store. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see, what's the weather saying? It's currently saying that it is 93 degrees with a real fill of 111. Yeah, I really feel that real fill. <laughs> hey, theme park fanatic. Hey, Plymouth Rock. For those of you who work in metric, that is 34 degrees with a real feel in the sun of 44. Pretty hot day. Hey Dan, hey Chris. Hey Disney Pass holder. Good morning, Spectra. Simon Rogers says 55 minutes according to touring plans. Well, we like that quote. Hopefully that, that's, that's a much better quote. Hopefully hey. that works out to be the case. Yeah. Hey Simon, good to see you. Hey Megan. Yeah, I mean, it's summertime in Florida. It's always going to be hot and there's always going to be a chance of rain, I think. <laughs> yeah, just about every day. Uh, once we really get into the thick of things in the summertime, uh, meteorologists will just start saying, oh, it's like a 50% chance of rain like every day because we're really not sure. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Megan says, the mayor says hello. He's been forced to make lunch. Hello, the mayor. Good luck with making the lunch. Hey, Megan. Hey, the mayor. Plymouth Rock says it should be saying, get into some air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised there's, I wonder if there is a heat advisory right now. There probably well, there is. Possibly. Let's see. Somewhere on the left side, it's uh, more shady. I'm not seeing a heat advisory. Really? Yeah, the app's just like, oh, it's Florida in the summertime. You should know better. That's true. Hey, Todd. So we're gonna be at um, Animal Kingdom later for um, Everest. Yep. Oh, because Jeff was saying if you, if you go to Finding Nemo, say hi to Justin, my son who is working there today. That's awesome. That is awesome. Thank you to Justin for making the magic. Absolutely. Um, we probably won't go to Nemo today, but uh, we will be in Animal Kingdom. And if uh, if he sees us, please let him know to say hi, and he can say hi in the stream if he likes as well. Yeah. If he's outside of Finding Nemo, we probably will walk right by him. Oh, maybe if he's out. Yeah, if he's outside, that's a good point. Hey, Prince Ryan. Hey, Zori. Good luck with the groceries. Hey, Paul Freed. <laughs> Nikki said, I feel like Floridians are like, heat advisory. Eh, same wine, different bottle. Hashtag <laughs> used to it. That's so true. The fan is helping a lot, TSGP, absolutely. 
Joey G's like, fortunately later on in this queue you get some amazing AC. That's true. That is true. But we're going to have to be finding a lot for signal too. Yeah. Good to see you, Joey. Hey, this boy. Hey, the JP. Yeah, Disney Pass holder says National Weather Service says no hit advisor. Hey, Debbie Caffrey. Good afternoon, Debbie. Thank you so much. Nicky says, I need to strap that fan to my bag. I think they'd mind. <laughs> We've been walking to the Magic Kingdom. I don't know how long my battery's gonna last, but it's gonna be tested today. That is true. Plymouth Rock's like, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Oh yeah. 100% yes. Thank you, Plymouth Rock. Hey, Steven. That is true, Disney Plus sold the only inside ride is Space Mountain. That way, uh, it does rain, we'll head that direction. Yeah. And uh, we'll avoid the rain and continue the mountain challenge. Yes, exactly. Paul Fried said, hey guys, so Christopher Cross last night in Pennsylvania. What an amazing show. Sailing. Oh, he's still going. That's awesome, Paul. Sailing. Oh, we're glad you had fun, Paul. Now the line has not been moving very much. It's a little bit late, so you might get past that I don't know. I think so. I think I was like in the hurricane zone right over here. Oh, are you getting more like crazy yeah. baby? Yeah. If you want to stand uh, over there to the right. No, I'm good. Okay. You, you stand there. Oh, I, I just am trying to get the phone out of it a little bit so it's a little less noisy. Oh. <laughs> hey, Mike. So guys, if you don't know, we are in line for Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Getting ready for uh, our very first roller coaster on the Mountain Challenge today. <laughs> hey Dan the Man, Dan the Man says thanks to Monica and Eric for going out in the heat so I can stay home. Be sure to get some cooling air conditioning regularly, say between rides. That is fair. Hopefully we'll get some good air conditioning um, once we get in the inside part of the queues. I'm just looking forward to going underneath the overhang over here where we're no longer uh, in the direct sunlight. Direct sun, yeah. yeah, that would be nice. We're almost there though. That's true. <laughs> Jeff Davis says less noises, but uh, wind does keep it from overheating. It does help, absolutely. The uh, battery has been drained rather quickly already. It's uh, down 7% since we started. Nicky Mouse says, shout out to all the Ninja Watchers. We love you guys and appreciate you watching. Absolutely. Thank you so much to everybody who is Ninja Watching today. We really appreciate you all. Thank you for being here. Steven Singleton says, I'm going to summer commencement. That's awesome, Steven. Have a great time at commencement. Todd's got an idea there. He says, we need to create a Disney bucket cap with a solar panel on it that'll recharge the fan. That sounds like a really good idea. <laughs> Get a bucket hat that uh, has a solar panel that, as it gains energy, it uh, works a pump that uh, works a water cooled system in the cap. Got the coolest head around. <laughs> Sounds good, Megan. Enjoy lunch. Enjoy lunch, Megan. Hey, Shauna. Happy Sunday. So, am I the only one when I see the way that this? Uh, this log was supposed to be cut out and everything. Does that look like a peanut to you guys? Oh, really? Oh, okay, yeah, I like see that. Like the outer shell of a peanut? Only on 
on this side for some. Well, no, on the outer part. Yeah, like the parts that have been cut. Yeah. Yeah. It does have a peanut esque look. But none of the others do, which is interesting. We made it to the shade. We did. I don't have a bug around my neck, did I? I don't see one. Okay. Now these fans are not quite as effective. <laughs> no, not as much, but the shade is nice. The shade is very nice. Hey, Brian. Meridian's like, yes, a peanut shell. Hey, Christina G. Christina, you've never done Seven Doors My Tree? What? It's a great ride. You're going to love it. Oh, Disney Pass here says many a beehive. Yeah, it has that look too. Oh, Chris says you need a fan for the phone. Hey, Vicky. Hey, Holly. Hey, Tim Tiki Man fan. Sorry. I didn't know how many people were coming through. <laughs> in the smoker and almost used my phone to turn it. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a lot of people who keep going through the line. <laughs> that is. Alright, you ready? Ready. Alright. Nikki, thank you so much for the $10 pay call. Nikki, we really appreciate that. Thank you so much, Nikki Mouse. I'm not sure what it said. Let's see if we can pull it up. Grab something cold to drink. Have fun, Tater Tots. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much, Nikki. We will. Yeah, we'll stay hydrated. I think we'll have to grab the coffee after uh, Space Mountain before we make the hop over to Adam Kingdom. Or if we don't have to do it earlier. Might have to do it earlier. Nice coffee? I haven't had coffee today yet. <laughs> that is true. Thank you so much, Nikki. Thank you, Nikki. And guys, uh, Seven Doors Mind Train, if you've never done it before or if you've never seen it before, it's if you're familiar with Thunder Mountain, it's kind of like a more smooth entry level Thunder Mountain. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> like we're starting off with uh, the easier ride. And then we're gonna go to Thunder, which is a, maybe a half step up. The smoother ride maybe? Yeah, well this is definitely the smoother. And then we're gonna go to Space, which is definitely a bit more abusive as well. And then we'll go to Everest, which is, we have no idea, honestly. Uh, it looks kind of intense, though. That's true. Nikki said, I heard iced coffee. Yes, the answer is always yes to iced coffee. Yeah, 100%. Well, that's a very good point, Joey G. Joey G says, Nikki, make sure to, to put those on the grill for a nice sear afterwards. Absolutely. Iced coffee? Seared iced coffee. Wait, I think they're talking about something else. That makes me wonder, are there any like, so you know how you can have like a, a glazed donut, or not not like a glazed donut, but like, uh, you know the Cinnabon things at, uh, at Taco Bell, how they're like fried with the glaze inside? What? No? They're like a, a fried ball of Cinnabon with the glaze inside. You've never had one of those? Oh, they're very good. I wonder if they could do something like that with coffee. Like a fried coffee ball. Well, Marty M says Everest will be smoother than Space Mountain. Oh, well, that's good to know. Eric's never been on uh, Mount Everest, guys. No. Uh, not Mount Everest, um, Expedition Everest. Expert, well, either one. I'm going to just keep calling it Mount Everest, even though that's not the right name. That might happen a lot. <laughs> oh, Holly says, yes, cinnamon bites. Oh, gee, they're delicious. Could you imagine, though, if there was like, uh, like a coffee flavor? Okay, I'd be up for a inside. coffee donut with coffee frosting covered with coffee sugar um, and all the coffee. That is a little coffee. Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. If I'm kind of understanding what you're, what you're putting out there. Yeah, that's true, Holly. The, the coffee inside would have to be more syrupy, like a frosting or something. Oh, like a whipped frosting uh, coffee. That'd be good. I think so. <laughs> hey, Leslie. Hey, Jeffrey. Hey, 
Rabla. Rabla is like keyword coffee. Yeah, exactly. Have we said coffee enough yet? As you can tell, I have not had coffee yet, guys. But we will today. Uh, we're gonna get an iced coffee courtesy of Nikki Mouse. Thank you so much, Nikki. Thank you, Nikki. Jeff Davis said, fun fact, you never make it to Everest on the Expedition Everest. Well, what happens? What? What do you mean you don't make it? Oh, no. Dating for life, Jones. Oh, oh, that's true with the Park Fanatic. You could pipe it into the center. The frosting? Yeah, like a, a thinner frosting. If you're not going to like bake it in or uh, fry it in. You could just pipe it in after it's been fried. Hey, Promise Princess. Today we're doing all the mountain rides. It's our mountain challenge day. And we're starting off, we're in the queue for the uh, Seven Dwarves Mine Train. We are. Jeff Davis, you'll just have to find out later. He, he, he. Oh no, Jeff Davis. Why did you scare him? <laughs> Being park fanatic says, and I would eat too much of it and get fat. Oh no. Yeah, that's maybe that's maybe that's why it's a good thing they haven't made a coffee version of those uh, I cinnamon try, bites. I try like all like any treat that's got coffee in it. I, I definitely would try it. Right? Yeah. And if you try it and you love it, then I'm addicted to it. <laughs> hey Guillermo. Hey Guillermo. Hey Jose Luis. Hey Jose Luis. Jose says, make sure the Yeti doesn't get you. Well, we'll do our best. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Caleb. <laughs> Nikki's like, I cannot wait to see Eric's reaction to Everest. Screenshots galore. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Jeff says, see you over at Animal Kingdom later. See you later, Jeff. Hey, the West Wing. Yes, exactly. We're tackling the longest queue first. Absolutely. Get that out of the way yeah. so we can enjoy the rest of the rides. And it wasn't too bad when we got in the line. So it wasn't. Hopefully, this, hopefully it keeps moving along pretty well and we get on it soon. Absolutely. Speaking of, you can see it on that side. You can. Let's turn around real quick. Hey, oh no, Vicky's under a thunderstorm warning. Stay safe, Vicky. Stay safe, Vicky. Hey, Billy's trick shots. Yeti is scary. Oh no, don't tell Eric that, Billy. <laughs> Can I even take this one? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Hey, Lily's wife. Good to see you. Happy Sunday, everybody. Kenneth says Everest is a great ride. I enjoy the backwards part. Um, what? What? No, no backwards part, right? No, no, no. You're supposed to go forward. Here goes the train. Onward and upward, right? Yeah, Eric's never been on Everest, so don't don't scare him too much, guys. <laughs> Granted, I'm a little scared to get back on Space Mountain. It's been a while. Yeah, Space, I think, is the one that I'm uh, the most uncomfortable about, because last time I got off of Space Mountain, it was over a decade ago, and I felt like I lost a fight. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Gigi says, Vicky, it's going to thunderstorm at 4 in New York. Be safe, Gigi. Be safe. Um, Nikki's like, who's gonna tell Eric about the backwards part? What backwards part, Nikki? You guys are just doing it wrong. Obviously, during the backwards part, you're supposed to turn around on the roller coaster, so you're going forward. Right? That's how that works, right? Sure. Whatever gets you on the ride. <laughs> The West Wing says, wait, I'm late. Are you all really saying Eric hasn't done Everest? That's 100% great. Yeah, this will be my first time on Everest, but like, you know, that'll be something. Why did I get sprayed? Oh, the what misting. Was, yeah, I have misting fence. Oh, well, I was like, why did I just get misted under the roof? <laughs> I was like, where's the nearest misting fence? Joey <laughs> G says, flip the camera backwards for the backwards part. Oh, no. Yeah, we might. That might be fun. I don't maybe know, because they'll, oh, no, they'll be up against my we're, chest. We're going to yeah. be on Baby Yoda mode. 
Nicki Mouse said, I mean, what? What backwards fart? Someone made that up, totally. Exactly, right, Nikki? 100% not a thing. Gary G says, what about eliminated nice tea? An Arnold Palmer? Oh, those are really refreshing. They are very refreshing. Oh, no. Rob Law says, baby shark mode. Do, 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 do. No, no, don't, don't do the song. Don't do the song. <laughs> we, uh, we call it, when Eric puts the chest mount on, uh, baby Yoda mode. Yep. And Jeff Davis, uh, we yeah we can take a gimbal on Thunder and on Seven Dwarves and on Everest, but uh, we probably will baby Yoda mode the more extreme ones. We'll probably baby Yoda mode uh, Everest at least, yeah, and maybe Thunder as well, just to make sure that everything's okay and that we don't break the gimbal. And we have to baby Yoda mode on uh, Space Mountain, right? Oh yeah, you said space. The beneficiary of my life insurance, Monica. Why? What? Oh my goodness. Is she not telling me something? Thanks, oh, no. Eric. I was like, don't do this song. Don't do this song. Sorry, Nikki. Hey, Adrian. Hey, the West Wing. Uh, the West Wing, yeah, there's been a few rides we still haven't done together. Um, quite a few. Uh, I would say a few, not necessarily quite a few. Okay, yeah, maybe a few. Like, um, sorry. There's, uh... Have we done It's a Small World? We've done It's a Small World. We did it on stream. I know, I was joking. It was a joke. I was like, hang on. It was a joke. Marty M says, we got the chest mount. Might as well use it. That's very true. Our GSD rule says, oh, come on, Eric. My mom went on Space Mountain three times when we had our family trip. She was 82. Oh, that's amazing. And when she came off, it jumbled her around so much, she came off 28. Now, didn't she, our GSD rules? It's like a time-traveling thing? It is like a time-traveling thing. Hey, our GSD rules. Great to see you. Guillermo says, Space Mountain is so much fun. Make sure to hands off for the full ride. I'm always afraid of putting my hands up for Space Mountain because I feel like my hands are going to run into a rail. Yeah, you can always see just barely the rails above you and you're always like, ah, just got to bring the arms down a little bit. <laughs> hey, Jazzo. Hey, The Apprentice. Hey, Queen Honey Bear. The West Wing says, can that be the next challenge? All unexperienced rides. What would I mean, that even be? We many rides we haven't been on. No, there's uh I know that I know flight one of passage. flight of passage because I'm very oh. eager to do that one. Yeah. We've heard a lot of good things about flight of passage. Um yeah. and we love Soren and we love every other ride we've ever done at Disney. So I mean yeah. it should be good. I um, think that might be the only one we haven't done together. Maybe another one. I can't think. Oh right we now. haven't done Frozen together. Oh yeah we haven't done Frozen I together. I haven't done Frozen since it was uh since it was Norwegian themed, uh, Maelstrom. Oh, full, full charge Chris says, yeah, I've hit my hands on Space Mountain, gotta keep them up but low. Up yeah, that's low. always my fear on Space Mountain. I'm like, I don't want to hit my hands against the, uh, the metal rails, you know? Yeah. Hey, Tim. I love the lanterns in this, uh, queue. <laughs> Chef Davis says you haven't ridden rides together. Only a bunch of times, Joe. Oh, Promise Princess, we have absolutely ridden Tron and Guardians. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, we even have a whole Tron vlog. Um, our Tron vlog is from when we got invited out for the cast member preview, where we did it like four times back to back, which was so amazing. That was an amazing opportunity, thanks to a wonderful, wonderful cast member. It was. But yeah, Tron has been awesome. And then uh, Guardians, our very first ride through ever, we filmed that and uh, have that up on the uh, channel as well. Yeah, we do have the Guardians of the Galaxy vlog up. That's a whole ride through. That one came out pretty cool. It did. Well, everybody who's in severe weather right now, guys, be safe. Careful out there. Keep an eye on the uh, National Weather Service and uh, yeah, just be safe, guys. That's awesome, Jazzo. Enjoy the pool. Oh no, don't read Joey G's comment. What did Joey G say? No, don't read it. He said nothing. I love the part where the Yeti picks up the train, spins it, and tosses the train off the track. Is that the Disco Yeti part that everyone's talking about? What? Hey, Coda! Hey, Kevin Coda, good to see you. Hey, Demi! Oh, I read that wrong. Sorry, Guillermo. Guillermo was saying I got sick on Mission Space and Epcot. I'm good on Space Mountain. Oh, okay. Oh, that makes sense. I don't know why I confuse those sometimes. <laughs> Mission Space is a very different beast. Oh sure. yeah. Just wave your hands right under the spout to make the water and music come out. Is it working? I think it's off right now. It is not working. Ah, the sun. Parking lot tram stream one. <laughs> that would be a long day. That would be. Hey, Christina. I think an all day parking lot tram stream would be uh, our equivalent of like a small world stream. That's true. And just like Eric said a little while ago, if you guys are experiencing bad weather, please stay safe, guys. Absolutely. And also, as we go into the vaults, everybody, keep in mind we may experience some lag. It probably will happen. Yeah. Uh, so be prepared for that. If you'd let us know if you're uh, if you're encountering any lag after you've refreshed, if it uh, doesn't come back, just let us know and uh, we'll do our best to address it. There are some areas though that we just can't fix in this queue. Uh, and yeah, once we get past them, we should have signal back. So. Hey, Pat from Chicago. Hey, Pat. Someone's spending their class now. Yeah, but none of the uh, drawers are up there. Right. Uh, did my chat stop? Yep, it did. Okay. So I'm connected to Wi Fi right now, so while I'm connected to Wi Fi, I don't have uh, chat. Yeah, guys, so if you're not familiar with this queue, 
these barrels, if you spin them at a certain speed, the doors will pop up on the ceiling. And if you get all of them spinning at, uh, at a speed enough where the dwarves are dancing on the ceiling, then uh, Snow White appears in the center dancing with the dwarves. It's pretty cool. Destination Disney TV, that's awesome. Happy birthday to Ali. Happy birthday, Ali. Oh my goodness, Marty M says, sorry, I'm having a storm and lost internet for a bit. Stay safe, Marty. That's the important thing, Marty. Oh, yeah, no, it, uh, it refreshed. Oh my goodness, the nursing <laughs> There we go, and the dwarves are back. And that's as soon as they started recording. I knew something was to happen, and I'm like, I've never seen it off like that. <laughs> Everyone's like, Panasonic, ah, screenshot. But it's now three o'clock. We uh, are almost on seven doors. Alright guys, bear with us. Uh, as we get further into the queue, again, uh, we do experience some lag. We'll do our best to keep it as long as we can, but uh, it is an issue sometimes. Mickey Mouse says, how's the AC in there? It's really nice right here. Yeah, it's refreshing. Yeah, it was a little warm in, um, by the gems and everything and the projections, but over here it's really nice. It is. Don't get nervous, Green Honey Bear. It'll be alright. This is a good ride. No, she's nervous about the weather. Oh. Well, be safe, uh, Green Honey Bear. I'm so sorry. Oh, I see the other. Okay. I'm only getting bits and pieces of the chat, is the problem. Chat just came in. <laughs> hey, Dole of Dave. Hey, Dole of Dave. Dole of Dave says, Ever seems like it would be a stretch. But that's why it's a challenge today. Exactly.
my favorites, but one thing is like the seats, the bar that goes down on you. I don't know why it's so narrow. It is. It's tough, especially when you have like a backpack and uh, when you're carrying around stuff. It's not like the easiest thing in the world. That is very true. Hey, that photo feeling. Well, thank you so much. Nikki says, uh, no use doing a challenge if you're gonna take the easy way out. Dive in, exactly. Exactly. That would be really tough, uh, especially in the summertime like this, Discord. But it's certainly uh, something to consider in the future. Oh, Zori. So they added Mine Train in May of 2014, it looks like. Alright guys, so we're going to round around this, uh, this spire here of rock. Once we've gone around it to the other side, that's usually where we tend to lose signal a little bit. The Wi-Fi cuts out and there's no uh, cellular signal on that side, so that's, uh, that's a thing. <laughs> we'll get it right back as soon as we're uh, getting on the right and uh, we'll go from there. Be safe, Marty. <laughs> Nikki says, okay, here's the plan. We rent out the whole park for a day and ride every ride possible in two hours. No, not possible. I mean, Fiscally not, uh, not plausible, but uh, other than that, totally doable. Jeff Davis says, I need a shoehorn to get out of the mine chain. It's a tight squeeze for a tall, fluffy snack loving people like myself. I th it, like the seats aren't so bad as I think the lever, the lever that goes down on you. I don't know why it's just, it's very narrow. The whole ride is, is narrow though. That's true. Like, but I'm, I'm just saying the seats aren't as bad as the bar that goes down on you. That's fair. But I mean, I can feel the edges of the seat. That's true. And just because like the bar, oh, the lever that goes down, it's like on the sides of your legs as well. Right. Hey, James J.B. Basson. Hey, J.B. Basson. Oh, no, don't tell Monica you have crumble. Crumble cookie? Oh, my goodness. Which one? What flavor? I love crumble cookie. I love Gideon's. I think Gideon's may be my number one, but I think crumble cookie's my number two. Granted, there was an amazing crumble cookie I had like a couple months ago. It was a s'mores cookie. Oh my gosh. That s'mores cookie was like melting your mouth. Amazing. <laughs> oh, Jamie Basson says the waffle cookie. Like the one that's like a, the one with that comes with the little butter and the syrup. Yep, I think so. Yeah, that one's really good. Hey, Daniel. Thank you for being here. Hey, Shield 626. Hey, good to see you guys. 
Hope you had a good anniversary dinner, guys. Hope you're continuing to have a wonderful Disney staycation, uh, vacation. Absolutely. Hey, Alex J. Thank you so much. Hey, Jesse Manetti. Thank you as well. Oh no, Nikki almost tossed her phone in the smoker. What? No, Nikki, don't do that. <laughs> I'll just turn the gimbal off and I'll hold the phone. Well, Jamie Basson said uh, he got waffle, fried ice cream, cookies and cream, and chocolate chip. This sounds amazing. Fried ice cream sounds really good. I wonder what that cookie tastes like. <laughs> like fried ice cream? Well, Nikki, do you have a snack as your uh, wallpaper on your phone, by any chance? Oh, why she's trying to cook her phone? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully not. I mean, if her husband's her wallpaper. Oh no. You know. <laughs> oh no! Did he do something wrong? No, no, I'm saying like she might define him as a snack, you know. Oh. <laughs> oh Nikki she says does. I do. It's a Mickey it's bar. A Mickey bar. That's awesome. I don't think a Mickey bar would hold up really good in the grill, though. No, not particularly. But it might give like a steak a good flavor, or an interesting flavor. It would be interesting. I would try it. Joey says, I've heard of apple wood in the smoker, but not apple phone. <laughs> it's pretty close though, right? Right? Hey, Aaron. James Jamie Baston says it tastes like heaven mixed with two hugs. Corn dog Jimmy. Hey corn dog Jimmy. And hey USO Scooter Chris. Oh, I gotta refresh my stream. Good to see you guys. You probably just don't have signal. That's a possibility too. Hey Jeff Condon. Hey Jeff. Happy Sunday, everyone. Happy Sunday. Yeah, I don't have signal, you're right. Yeah, so right around the corner here, we're probably going to lose it, but yeah. we'll hang on for as long as we can. So Aaron, the Mountain Challenge used to be uh, Splash Mountain, Thunder Mountain, and Space Mountain all on the same day. Now, Splash Mountain no longer exists. It's uh, under an extensive refurbishment and refilling to become uh, Tiana's Adventure by, or Bayou Adventure. Uh, so instead, we are doing Thunder Mountain, Space Mountain, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, and Expedition Everest over in Animal Kingdom. Hey, Queen of Disney. So we, uh, we're we about to try to conquer our first mountain. Yeah, this is uh, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, guys. Yeah, my phone is completely out of signal. Have you tried getting on the Wi-Fi? Hey, Kawaii Kitty! Hey, Kawaii Kitty! Hey, Monique! So guys, we're likely to encounter some lag right up here. Just bear with us. We'll uh, get it back as soon as we can. So far, so good. Yeah, the signal looks good, at least on the stream. Yeah, you're not even seeing the Wi-Fi. That's what I'm worried about, is that the Wi-Fi signal is going to be too weak. Yeah. We're going to do Everest last. Absolutely, Georgie. They need to make more mounts. So sorry. <laughs> that would be fun. What 
time does Animal Kingdom close? Good question. Because if it's uh, too early, we might have to head that way before we finish all the mountains here. Let's take a look. Close is at 7 today. So we definitely need to be headed that way by 6. Alright. Okay. I still think we can do it. Time? Yeah. I think so too. I mean, we'll be on uh, the mine train soon. We will. This is some of the coldest air conditioning in the park right here. Yeah, it, it's like really cold. <laughs> It is like a shock to your body when you go back outside and it's like, oh, it's not this cold outside. That is true. It's interesting how much more detail you can see through the phone than you can see in real life. Oh no, is Nikki saying we need a cold brew emoji? Oh yeah. We need to make a cold brew emoji. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's our next emoji we're going to include. Boba is good too though. I've never had that. That sounds good. It does sound good. Oh, kitty. There you go, Nick. And the key park office will hook you up with a custom one. Alright, so we need, to, we need to get a cold brew emoji happening and a boba cold brew. Or is boba a cold brew or is it not a cold brew? Boba is just the little balls. Oh, but it's like tea, right? Boba oh, like tea? A boba tea, yeah. With the little, okay. Maybe we maybe we add a cold brew emoji and a boba tea emoji. Maybe. Maybe. It sounds like fun. It does. Happy birthday, 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 Happy Ah oh, yes, Joey G. Disney's losing money not doing Bubba Fett tea. Absolutely. I think that would be like a really cool thing if they added that to the park as a treat, you know? Right. Uh, this is the mine train, guys. This is Seven Doors Mine Train in Magic Kingdom. Just a minute. <laughs> yeah, pearls. That too. That's that'd be fair. that'd be fun for like the Little Mermaid area. Would It'd be, be like under the sea theme. Alright, once we get past this rope, everybody, we are no longer waiting for lightning lane and the ride should move quite a bit faster. Oh no, Nikki says, why am I getting emotional about an emoji? My love for cold brew runs deeper than I thought. <laughs> oh my goodness, we definitely need to include a cold brew emoji now. <laughs> I love coffee, like anything coffee I think I love. That's fair. says keyword again coffee that's true Rabla
Rosa says, I forget which place in Orlando, but I got this lemonade slush from a boba place there with chewy cherry flavored boba. Really good. That sounds good. That does sound good. Hey, lucky dudes. Yeah, Sunday afternoon. A Sunday afternoon in the heat of the summer with all the summer crowds. Yeah, make it a real challenge, right? Right. Hey, CMC. We got to show that it's possible any day of the year, whenever you're here. If you want to do the mountain challenge, you should be able to. If we can pull it off. <laughs> Signal's held much better than I thought it would. Look at the goofy. That's awesome. Pat from Chicago says it's hot and humid here today, just like you guys. Well, stay safe, Pat. Hot and humid is uh, it's a recipe for disaster if you're not staying out of the sun and hydrated. Hey, Jose Chair! Hola, Jose Chair! ¿Cómo está usted la familia? Nicky Mouse says, next time you guys want to do a snack around the park challenge, I'll buy a, I'll buy a plane ticket right then and there. Just let us know when, Nikki. Dakota <laughs> says, uh, I'll join you, Nikki. And Jose Chair says, Todos bien, gracias. Les mandan muchos saludos. Muchas gracias, Jose. Saludos a usted y la familia. Gracias por estar aquí con nosotros. I hope I didn't mispronounce it. Right. <laughs> Everybody's talking about Disney snacks now. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle R, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Kyle. He says, good afternoon, mountain ears, Monica and Eric. Oh, man, we need a mountain ears. Oh, no. Thank you so much. We've never had row one before. Have we never? Did you want to put your glasses in my bag or in your bag? I think I'm going to leave my hat on because I have that strap around my neck in case it flies off. It okay. should stay on. I think I will just put mine backwards and it should be fine. Like, okay. I'm excited. We're row one, guys. Uh -huh. What? Like, so cool. Oh, thank you so much, my Melody. She was complimenting my Spanish. <laughs> gotcha. Alright, we're next, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh yes, the mint julep at Casey's. We've had that before, Alex. So good. Very refreshing. Absolutely. Theme Park Fanatics is going to try just about every snack during food and wine this year at Epcot. That's a challenge right there. That is, that is a lot of snacks. That sounds like an awesome challenge though. Right? That's like a... Uh, festival long challenge. There they go. Oh no, we're next. Here we go, everybody. Oh, it's so cool. Look at the bag. Yep. And then figuring everything else out. Put the bag and then pull down. Yeah. Yep. Snug as a broken a bug.
Mountain Challenge of the day. All right. Well, first mountain. Off, I'm just gonna hold on to the phone. Here we go, guys. <laughs> it's a really fun ride. Thank you. So that was fun, guys. Uh, hopefully, we have signal right now. I'm about to take it off the of Wi Fi. I think we do. So we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes there. Gotcha. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed mine train. <laughs> that last part always gets me when it like swings <laughs> you like all the crazy ways. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Yeah. So what are we looking at for wait times for Thunder and Space? All right, let's pull those up on the app. Let's do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed Seven Doors Mine Train. All right, so we have Thunder is saying 30. Okay. And Space is saying 40. Hmm. What? Do you want to head over to Space first then? Because yeah, that's a pretty low time for Space. That's extremely low wait time for Space Mountain. All right, let's head to Space and then we'll do Thunder. Yeah. And hopefully we won't hit any rain, but like that's... Oh, I don't I think, think we're any good. rain is happening anytime soon. I think we're good, yeah. So we'll do that. We'll head straight for uh, Space Mountain. And uh, we'll put you guys in baby Yoda mode for that one. So. Yeah. It'll be a little less tricky, hopefully, than just by hand, like uh, Seven Doors was there. That was pretty crazy. All right, guys, we're going to very quickly refresh because uh, it would help us be able to see the chat. Uh, so we'll be right back, everybody, after a quick refresh. Are you still with this one? I, yep, oh. and I think we're back. Let's turn it back around. Oh, before we do, guys, if you're new here, we are the Park Hoppers. Thank you so much for enjoying Seven Doors Mine Train with us a moment ago. We're going to go ahead to Space Mountain next. Uh, and we're going to put you guys on a chest mount for that one. Thank you so much for being here. We go live from the parks all the time now. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us again in the future. Also, if you haven't already, please hit that like button. We'd really appreciate that as well. Let's go head towards uh, Space Mountain. Towards Space Mountain? Okay, 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 whichever way. 
It's cool. That's pretty cool. That is cool. Hey, Tara Dizzle. And just like that, we're in Tomorrowland. I love that wait time for Space Mountain is accurate. Because <laughs> if so, that's amazing. Kevin Cota says, looks like Joey G is joining us. Nicky Mouse and Park Bucket Hat, Park Bucket Hat. Eat we're around the world, part. I think. We're gonna eat around the world? I think that's what's happening. Heck yeah. Snacks for the win, absolutely. Wanna do a quick cut through through a store since we won't be doing much shopping today? Uh, if you want to. I did the walk through. Okay. Just a quick walk through through Star Traders, that's all. Gotcha. Oh no, I think you teased Nikki, honey. What she said shopping? I was trying to show some shopping. But well, you walked right through. <laughs> I know, but like we showed a little bit. <laughs> I was trying to include it a little bit in the stream. Oh, I see. <laughs> That was my sneaky way of including shopping in today. <laughs> <laughs> she says, oh, biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> we got to make it to Space Mountain before everyone else does, because they're going to see 40 minutes for an air-conditioned roller coaster, and they're going to be like, I want to do that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Jeff Condon says, YouTube knocked me down to 144p. I thought I was going blind. Oh no. That's terrible. We Sorry about that, Jeff Condon. We are 1080, guys. YouTube uh, tends to do that sometimes and knocks down the quality. We don't exactly know why. But yeah, please check that your settings are on 1080. Absolutely. The lens Okay. Alrighty, guys. Triple E, good to see you. Hey, Eric's exciting excursions. He says, what, the, what up, y'all? Let's do this, Park Hoppers. Space Mountain. This could be your first time live streaming Space Mountain. It will be. And, guys, it's important to note that handheld devices or loose articles, including cell phones and cameras, are not permitted while riding. So we're going to have to put you guys in Baby Yoda mode. Space Mountain passengers. Space Mountain is a thrilling high speed Watch the stairs. Supervise children at all times. And remember that passengers in wheelchairs must transfer into a rocket to participate in this launch. Thank you, and enjoy your flight. Attention, Space Mountain passengers. So far, so good.
so if I can hand you the gimbal, honey, I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, baby Yoda mode prepared. Thank you. It is dark in here. It is very dark in here. Let's show the screen. That's pretty cool. I don't remember this. <laughs> hey, Disney Houston. We picked up uh, Mine Train, and now we're in the queue for Space Mountain. We are in Hey, Paul. That seems to be pretty good because we're only about an hour in. We've yeah. already gotten uh, the longest wait out of the way. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited we, we got that. <laughs> yeah. These are the uh, space walls in the queue for Space Mountain, guys. Is it supposed to be accurate of uh, the space? <laughs> Uh, hey Rosalind, Kalar was asking, are Tron and Guardians as bad with the jerking movements as space? Um, I think Tron's super smooth. And Tron our, is super smooth. Yeah, yeah, in our opinion, Tron's like one of the smoothest coasters we've ever been on. The Guardians is also very smooth. Uh, the only difference is with Guardians, you're moving in a lot of different directions, so it's going to uh, it's going to throw you around a little bit more. Yeah, but uh, we haven't been on Space Mountain in a very long time. That is true. Kyle like already, what's the next challenge, Monica and Eric? <laughs> oh, we haven't thought about the next challenge yet. Well, the next one's the four-part challenge. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, because we have 5K, so we got to do the four-part challenge next. That's true. Hey, Hannah Rose. I don't. I keep running myself into the rail. <laughs> it's very dark in here. It is very dark. Nikki Mouse says, I'd be super impressed if you guys can hold the signal in outer space. Same here. Hopefully we can. Hopefully. Eric's getting uh, baby Yoda mode all set up so that you guys could be on the chest mount. As you saw the signs before we entered the queue, they don't allow any phones or devices or anything handheld. Which makes a lot of sense for safety reasons, you know? Yep. Hey Kristen. Especially on a coaster like this because this one's really intense. In my opinion. <laughs> Some people are probably like, this is not too bad. I don't know. I wish there was, I guess I wish there was just more back support on the coaster, like, vehicle itself. Oh, I forgot about that, yeah. Yeah, there's not much back or neck support on these, uh, on these vehicles. I do always love the, the music that they have in the queue. It's very spacey. Yeah. It really, like, gets you ready for the ride. It's out of this world. Joey G says, Nikki, I think they use a repeater to get their signal. Uh, oh, and then Nikki, I think they use a repeater to get their signal. Yeah, we're also starting to lose signal a little bit. Here, oh, so no, we'll maybe I'll move it to the other side. Let me try to move it over here okay. without crashing into you. I think, did I make it worse? No, it's a little better. It's coming back. Yeah. I don't know which one's going to be better. This one, which is technically not meant for phones, is definitely meant to hold battery packs. What do you think, Nick? What happened? This one's meant to hold battery packs. I think yeah. it's a little stronger than this one. Whichever one is stronger, I think we should go with. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Nikki Mouse says, we can always flip that into another perk. Let's call it an aggressive back character. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. JJ Mickey says, Space Mountain requires an immediate call to your chiropractor when you get off the ride. We don't have a chiropractor, but we might need one after our this ride. Our chiropractor's name is Thunder Mountain. Thunder Mountain's our chiropractor? I mean, that's where we're going right after. <laughs> that's fair. Hopefully we'll get our back to be alive. <laughs> I hope so. Hey, hey AR Glover. Hey, Herbie. There's old footage from Space Mountain. That's crazy. Hey, Lycan.
it's like a little baby Yoda. Oh, I guess you gotta well. We still have a little while. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go up. It's so, like, oddly bright in here, so let's change the exposure here. There we go. Put it up. Jeff Davis says, Thunder Mountain has been known to cure kidney stones. Look it up, it's an actual doctor prescribed remedy. Oh my goodness. I think I have heard about that actually. It makes a lot of sense as of how much it shakes you around. That's true. So, before we get on the ride, everybody, welcome to Space Mountain. Space Mountain is a thrilling, high speed, turbulent roller coaster type ride in the dark that includes sharp turns, sudden drops, and stops. Warning. For safety, you should be in good health and free from high blood pressure, heart, back or neck problems, motion sickness, or other conditions that could be aggravated by this adventure. Expecting mothers should not ride. Supervise children at all times. Persons who do not meet the minimum height requirement, which is 44 inches or 111 centimeters, may not ride. Wheelchairs and scooters must transfer. Kirby says, your back will hurt, so grab a pillow. I wish we brought a pillow. <laughs> Kristen, yeah, the camera's gonna be safe in Baby Yoda mode, which is uh, a chest mount, so it's going nowhere. Hey, Jay, Harry. Uh, we have accomplished one mountain. We uh, went on Seven Doors Mine Train, and now we're in the queue for mountain number two, which is gonna be Space Mountain. Absolutely. We're about an hour and a half into uh, the mountain challenge. Shannon Blankenship, good to see you, sir. Hey, Shannon. Shannon says, why is it Space Mountain? Shouldn't it be called Space, Concrete, Steel, and Electrical? <laughs> I think it should be called uh, Need a Chiropractor. <laughs> the uh, seats look a little bit more comfortable than I remember. You think? They're, uh, they've are they got higher backs than no. I remember there being, no? No, those are the same. Are they the same? Yeah. Oh, okay. You might be seeing little kids on it. I think I'm just wishful thinking. Maybe. That's good. Keep thinking wishfully. <laughs> Keep thinking happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. All right. There is no Yeti on Everest. That's a happy thought. There you go. Hey, Shannon. Hey, Shannon Woods. Guillermo's like, Eric, you got this. Oh, yeah. Jeff, Jeff Davis says nothing about those bobsleds to say comfort. That is true. Uh-huh. So we just got a little bit more of the line to go, but it's moving really, like, well. Yeah. Are we, uh, we still have to do the split, right? Where they, we still have to do the split where they send some of us to the left and this some of us to the right? Oh, this is the split? Gotcha. It goes to the left and then the lightning thing goes to the right. Right, but we still have to do a lot of back and forth before we do that. We still have to do a lot of back and forth, so. Yeah, we yeah. still got a lot of back and forth. Okay. Hey Carl, hey Brianna. Joey G says, you H2O it to yourself to seek a chiropractor adjustment. Yeah, and like Eric said, our chiropractor's name is going to be Thunder Mountain today. And if Thunder can't do it, maybe Everest will. Maybe. Hey, John. John says, we've been sitting on the last row on Everest. I hear more legroom on the last row. Oh. I think John's trying to trick us. That sounds great, though. More legroom? Is, is that like exit row seating on an airplane? <laughs> JJ Mickey says, I'm retired from this ride. I had to jaw freeze while the family rides it. That's, oh, no. a, that's a solid plan. J. 
Jerry Harry 85 says riding last row in any of the mountain rides is the best chiropractor adjustment you can get. Well, or just I just think you need a chiropractor more urgently. That's fair. Regardless of where we get put, I definitely need uh, the first seat because seats two and three are awful for leg room. Oh, gotcha. You see that? Yeah, I'm just thinking we gotta probably have. Oh no, you gotta be in the first yeah. row. Or, yeah, we gotta ask for the first row for you for sure. I mean, it just happened with the mine train. Hopefully, it happens again here. That'd be great. Jeff Davis said, "Hope you took your ibuprofen." Oh no, I'm nervous. Hey, Jocelyn. from Chicago says, do you dare ride this roller coaster with hands up at all times? <laughs> I don't think I'm brave enough. I'd be too scared that I'd uh, get my hands caught in the steel coaster or something. That's fair. Hey, you want to attempt to take a selfie with me real quick? Sure. Oh, maybe I need my hat back, though. What did you do with your hat? I put it in the bag already. Oh, that's fine. No. I would have taken off my hat for you. I got you. Carl Swango says, I think the worst I ever got beat up on a roller coaster was the Beast of Kings Island. Everything else is a cakewalk after that. Well, the Beast sounds kind of scary. It does sound scary. hear a lot of here on Space Mountain too. Good afternoon, Glenn. Hey, Glenn. those of you who don't know where we are, we are currently in Spaceport 79, otherwise known as Space Mountain. We're in the queue getting ready to get on the ride. It'll be our second mountain of the Mountain Challenge. The first mountain that we uh, conquered today was uh, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. 
the queue was a little long, so we came uh, right on over here afterwards, and we're uh, experiencing a pretty quick queue here, which is good. Yeah, I was like, when I saw the app, the app said 40 minutes for space, I was like, uh, yeah, let's go there now, because <laughs> yep. that's amazing. Nikki said, point of view of me on the Matterhorn. Wee! Ow! Ah! Oof! Wee! Guess I didn't need that rib anyway. Oh no. That doesn't sound too good. <laughs> Before they rebuilt Guazi and Bush Gardens, it was a rough ride too. I think I do remember that being a really intense one. Guazi was the uh, the wooden one, right? Yeah, the one that they now made like a wood and steel combo. Yeah. Yeah. Iron Guazi. Oh, Guillermo's like, I think the best coaster at Disney is Aerosmith's Rock and Roller Coaster. That's a cool one. Billy Clem is saying for roller coasters that beat you up, the former Dino World at Animal Kingdom should get an honorable mention. I second that, Billy Glenn. Definitely, that one, that one like spun you a lot and like threw you all over the place. It did. Oh, well, Vicky Jelaski, be safe. Jeff Davis says, keep the shoehorn out from Mine Train because I'll need it to wedge the fuck it is out of this ride too. Uh, I'll tell you, Jeff. I'd rather have, I mean, we haven't been to Disneyland just yet. I can't wait for the day we get to go. But Space Mountain over in Disneyland looks so amazing. And it, like, the seats for the Space Mountain look so much easier to get in and out of than ours. Like, I'm like, why, why can't we have this? those coaster seats over here. That's true. And uh, fun fact as to why they did that, Space Mountain in Disneyland is actually a tiny bit smaller than here in Disney World. And as a result, they couldn't actually fit the two tracks that we have here in uh, Disney World in there. So they had to make do with one track. As a result, they wanted to make sure that they were loading the same number of people. So they built the uh, track to be able to handle the uh, ride vehicle, to be able to handle double the amount of people. Yeah. But I still think we should have had more comfortable seats like that. <laughs> I agree. Hey, the Mandalorian! Hey, Mandalorian! Hey, Vanessa! Hey, Vanessa! Hubby uh, tricked me when I rode Rockin' for the first time. He told me it was smooth and then we took off. Oh, oh no. no. That's not the right way to approach uh, rock and Roller Coaster. Not at all. Christina G says, making mushrooms with onions, Bark Hoppers. That sounds delicious. That does sound delicious. Enjoy, Christina. Happy Sunday, Hannah. So James Field, we started off with the longest wait of the day. We started off with uh, Seven Doors Mine Train. And then we saw that the wait for Space Mountain was only 40 minutes, so we came right over here for that. Uh, so this will be our second mountain of the day. There's four mountains in total that we're attempting to do today. So it should be a good day. Gotcha. I wonder what space station that is. Hey, speechless in Disney and Manu. Hey, Nick. Hey, Wayne. 
Nick said, I hope to visit Disney World one day and see you guys on Space Mountain. I'm only ever at Disneyland since I'm in California. That'd be great, Nick. Yeah, anytime you guys see us in the parks, by all means, come say hi. Oh no. Promise Princess says, my wife and I would get put in cars where we would have to straddle strangers. We had separate photos with strangers. Oh no. Hey, the gaming pad. Hey, Phoenix Love Studios. Yeah, a happily ever after is still happening here at Magic Kingdom in the evening time. Yep. Oh, don't tempt us, Guillermo. Yak and Yeti over at Animal Kingdom is one of our favorite restaurants in, in all of uh, Walt Disney World. Oh yeah, we love Yak and Yeti. Always really, really amazing and delicious. And Glenn was saying, I've never been to Disneyland either. Maybe I'll go now that I'm retired. I've already been to Walt Disney World this year, so maybe next year. That's awesome, Glenn. Hey, the Dapper Rob. Rob says, hope you guys are having a good day. Eric and Monica want to jump in and say hi and good luck. Can't wait to watch the rewatch later. Well, thank you so much, Rob. Thank you so much, the Dapper Rob. Oh, Guillermo is saying that Yaki Yeti is his favorite too. That's yeah, a great I restaurant. mean, we've never been there and left like unhappy because like the meal is always delicious. The servers are always so nice. It's always a good experience there. Guys, not too much longer before we're on the ride here at Space Mountain. Joey G says, usually I avoid a restaurant with the word yak in it, but maybe it's worth a try. Yeah, Big Thunder Mountain at night is a lot of fun, Nikki. Absolutely. Oh my goodness, especially if you're on the coaster during the fireworks. Oh that's, yeah. That's pretty epic. So I think you got slowed down just a little bit by some lightning then. Lightning lane happens. It does happen. Does it really? Yep. Still? Because it's, they split us off into both sides. Oh. Yeah. And so what happens is we stop being fed to that side at all while lightning then goes through. Oh, I and so I get it just, now. Yeah. It would make more sense just to keep one side, like, well, I don't know. If you have one side only uh, lightning lane, then it's a much longer line for a standby. Jeff Davis says, Big Thunder at night in the cold, they say you can go 10 miles per hour faster. Oh no, Shannon. We hope that uh, everything with your wife is going well. And we hope that uh, you guys don't have to go back to the hospital anytime soon. 
Sounds good, Nikki. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, Manifestation. Hey, Sabrina B. process, which was really amazing. <laughs> That's very attractive. Charlie made the pearl for today. That's awesome. I didn't know there was a pearl for it. Oh, Guillermo says the coconut lime pops look so good. Thanks for sharing that one. Oh, our pleasure, Guillermo. Yeah, we posted that. Uh, did we post it on all the social media? It's very loud. I'm sorry, guys. got extra loud because the uh, ride itself stopped making noise and I think that caused a lot of people to panic for a second. Chocolate. 
I feel like coconut, lime, and chocolate. Highly recommend it. That would make quite the clam chowder. Well, Chef Davis said I had the best grilled cheese and soup from Gasparulas. Oh my goodness, yes. Uh, what did we have there? Um, we had the macaroni and cheese at Gasparulas, and it was actually pretty good. It was. Yeah, guys, the Grand Floridian is currently undergoing a lot of construction. Uh, we put up a, uh, a short recently showcasing that. Uh, some of the uh, some of the construction walls, at least. Yeah, the construction inside of the Contemporary. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm getting confused now. The Grand Floridian. Chat stuff. Yeah. Oh, is it yours or so? Okay. I got it. It wasn't the line. Okay, but it was. So we're good now. Chat's uh, working. Hey Joseph Dion, no coffee in the Hoppin' Park office. Not yet. We'll have to, uh, we'll probably have to get some coffee soon. Well, I'm thinking coffee after uh, Thunder Mountain, because then we can enjoy it on our way to Animal Kingdom. Debbie Sanderson wants to know, just curious, what's the longest wait in line that you've been in, and what was the ride? What was the longest wait you've ever had? <laughs> rice. Was that rice? Oh, you know what? Maybe not. Yeah. Sorry, Adi. Hey, John Haddad. RGSD rules say uh, the cast members at Gasparilla are special. They were able to get some uh, chicken soup when David was getting a cold. Well, that's great. Yeah, the cast members are really awesome. They always go above and beyond and really try to help out the guests, you know? They do. Well, I was just thinking the longest wait time we ever experienced was actually space, uh, Splash Mountain. It was Splash, yeah. Splash Mountain on that closing weekend, you yep. know? I think we waited a little bit over three hours. I think so. Yeah, because it was, it was that Friday, and I remember uh, it was closing on Sunday. And uh, at that point in time, we weren't able to come in on the weekend, so Friday was our last chance to ride Splash Mountain, and we're like, we're gonna wait, because that's what that uh, live stream was all about. Yep. Oh, 
Joey and Shannon are talking about this kind of lighting in their basement. Shannon's saying, I hear you, it would fit so well with all my Star Wars trunk. I mean, collectibles. Why is it a trunk? She just doesn't get it. Jeff Davis says, and Gasparillas is the only quick service that's open later till midnight. That's good to know. Thank you for that, Jeff. Uh, is it open on midnight like every day or just the weekends? Jeff Davis says every day as we can't go on the weekends. Well, thank you for that, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Come on, dog. Jimmy says this line always seems to take forever. It's uh, it's definitely slowed down a little bit. We have so little of the line left to go. We're almost there. Nicely earlier, and now it's just like not not moving along as, as nice. Yeah. What platform are you streaming on? We're on YouTube right now. Oh, YouTube? Yeah. Nice. What's your YouTube channel? We are the Park Hoppers. You got it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Because you have YouTube playing. Oh yeah? Yep. I've been able to move it before, go oh, like that. Gotcha. Oh look, that went away. Huh. That's weird. That is weird. Hey Angela Killer. We are in loading bay alpha everybody. You're almost on the ride. Hey Angela, hey Shoshana. Welcome back, Gigi. Oh no. Angela says literally everyone in my house put me calls them the bucket adders, and it's all Ron's fault. <laughs> or is it because we wear bucket hats? <laughs> Holly, we have a chest mount, so we'll be putting you guys uh, in baby Yoda mode is what we call it, is when we uh, mount you to uh, my chest. Yep, and then the live stream and the phone will be safe and secure. Yep. I think we might want to start transitioning that soon. I think so. Alright guys, what we're going to do real quick is put you on be right back mode, and we'll turn off the gimbal, we'll cut you off the gimbal, and put you on baby Yoda mode, so we'll be right back. Do you want to mute it as well so you don't hear any of the clicking noises too loud? That's fair. We'll Here be, we go. We'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, you should be in Baby Yoda mode now. Uh, everyone's seeing what you're... Oh! Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know we were back. Why didn't you yeah. let me know? I, I see. Okay. Yep, perfect. Okay. Uh, can you uh, make it live so we can see? Oh, okay. I thought you were hunting me, though. No. <laughs>
Thank you. Officially on baby Yoda mode, which uh, is essentially you're on the chest mode. Yep. Okay, so what's your first thing? That's what you guys are up to now. Okay, you have this on the flag. Oh, you're facing me. Okay. I was just like, trying to get the back, back on. No, you're fine. I was just like, why is it so much? There you go. Why is it so much what? I was like, yeah, you're gonna have to be in the front row. Yeah. It's gonna be too far down otherwise. Hey Mark, thank you so much. I think it'll be alright. Huh? I think it'll be alright. Jason says it was nice meeting with you too. Thank you so much, Jason. We hope you guys enjoy Space Mountain. Absolutely. Hey Big Al, not sure if you heard me say hi earlier. Uh, Mark was saying, Resort TV One is always so positive about your streams. Thought I would give you a try. Love you, friends. Just joined your channel. Looking forward to more fun. Thanks for all you do. Thank you so kindly, Mark. Thank you for being here, Mark. Big Al, this is Space Mountain. Determine it for crooked, also. Yeah. We have Which a little is... bit more time to figure that out. That's why I was like, let's get on the chest mode already. Yeah. I need to, uh, I need to do a severe amount of cutting to my hair, Georgie. It's way too long. Let me check that real quick. We might encounter a little bit of lag in here, guys. Just bear with us. It should come right back. No, I'm, I'm just trying to make it so that I'm not just showing the uh, back of the person. Yeah, yeah, for sure. What's that? Are these like a side like mini trees? I guess so. right now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Angela says, I'm not a super fan of this ride, but I will enjoy watching you two do it. Oh. <laughs> Mark Rogers says, I'm ready. Jeff says, I wish they would do the Star Wars overlay on Space Mountain like they do in California. Yeah, that would be really cool. That would be. Alright guys, I'm a little nervous now. <laughs> everybody Alright guys, here comes the train. Space shuttle, for your safety, remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, legs, inside the car. I want your children. That's not right. There's his next step for that one. Right. Are you nervous? Oh yeah. You don't sound nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Thank you. And it begins. Oh. 
figure out how bad it is once I, you know, try to stand up, but so far so good. Well, we, got, we hope you guys enjoyed Space Mountain and hopefully you were able to see some of it. All right. Oh, goodness. Getting out's the hardest part there. I just get my back. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. Oh no. I think I look too serious there. I'm like so, I'm like so intense right there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if it's showing. Oh no. Oh gosh. All right. That was crazy. Let's get everybody back on the gimbal as soon as we can. Uh, yeah. I'll sit it on the floor for a moment. I can hold it. You got it? Yeah. Thank you. All right. Uh, right. Worst part, yeah. Yeah, the turns were way more intense, in my opinion. Much faster because you can tell it makes it difficult to breathe. Yeah. But the fact that we can breathe okay in space the entire time, you're really not going that fast. I think it's a top speed of 40 miles an hour or something like that. All right, guys, we're going to put you in. Uh, be right back, Mom. Be right back. Let's see what everybody said. Nikki Mouse, nice job, Pack Croppers. You traveled to the farthest regions of space, and Monica managed to keep her bucket hat. Perfection. <laughs> Always. Uh, let's see. Shannon says this ride makes my. I took his hurt. I need more padding on my. Oh, I didn't read the. Oh, let me see. Padding on my couch. Yes. I limped to the kitchen to refill my water. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, Rick Thunder's a lot of fun. 
Forza says Nikki managed to not smoke her phone yet. Oh, thumbs up from Big Al. Step Bob's welcome in. Much fun. I mean, it's what did you guys think overall? <laughs> and just like, I'm just amazed at how chill you guys were. Eric is so calm, and I didn't hear any screaming from behind him. I think I was too scared <laughs> to scream. Oh. I knew that it would be difficult to see, so I was just like, All right, uh, ow, ow, all right, <laughs> give them something. <laughs> Exit this way. We are losing okay. signal here. Let's go, let's go. Yep. We should be back, everybody. Yep, we're heading for Big Thunder Mountain next. The coral moons of Pisces 7. H2O and choose up. City of the Stars. All right. Can you stop and pick up a turkey leg first? I don't know that we want to get a turkey leg before Big Thunder and Everest. <laughs> heard an oh boy from me. That, that is possible. Oh boy may have been said. <laughs> hey Bob! Yeah, we just got off of uh, Space Mountain. We're making our way now to Big Thunder Mountain. And then hopefully uh, we'll finish that before six o'clock and we'll park up over to Animal Kingdom. All right. I guess it wasn't necessarily the faster way to go, but. <laughs> that was pretty good, Shannon. Oh yeah, see now the line is outside. I'm very yeah. glad we went when we did. I am too. Alright, what are we looking at for a wait time on Big Thunder? Well, whatever it is, we gotta do it. That's true. You wanna eat them? <laughs> yeah, uh, it's the same 55 now. Gotcha. Sounds like people move 25 minutes for Big Thunder. Excellent. All right. I think we're going to pull off this challenge with a pretty good record time. Bubbles. <laughs> Do you want to stand in it for a second? I was considering it. You're considering it?
Yeah, it's a really hot day, it seems, across the country, apparently. Oh, gosh. Glenn it's is, really, really hot. Glenn is saying in Connecticut it's 88 degrees. Wow. In Connecticut. <laughs> Some of those spins on the uh, on Space Mountain were a bit more than I expected. Like at the uh, very start there, when you're really up high, and it just starts like putting you in a vortex kind of spin as you go down and down. I was like, oh, this feels like Guardians. <laughs> I was just like, I wasn't sure which part we were gonna be going, you know? Yeah. It's 88 up in Michigan right now, says Shoshana. Oh no. Nikki says, we're a lovely 78 degrees in SoCal. Sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, WDW Lodge. Hey, Movie Minion, Nick. Good to see you guys. Would we be better off passing by the castle on the way? Uh, yeah, I think we are. Think so? Do you want me to take your phone so you can uh, do that? Yeah. All right, guys. There were a number of, of uh, neat drops there on Space Mountain. Mm -hmm. Oh no, don't feed the ducks. All right. Oh, hello there, ma'am. Pardon us, we're just passing by. There it is. Beautiful, aside from the uh, intense amount of heat that we just got as soon as we stepped out from the shade there. So, Anna Duncan, hello. Uh, no, this was not the first time we'd ever ridden Space Mountain. It's been a very long time since we've ridden Space Mountain. It was but, just uh, the first time we've ever live-streamed. Oh yeah. Space Mountain. Which really makes me wonder how it like turned out. We'll have to watch it back later. If there's anything to watch, because it's pretty dark in there. <laughs> the castle looks really pretty. It does. So the biggest downside to going in uh, Space Mountain like that, as early as we did, now it feels even hotter outside. That's very, very true. Oh, it looked really good. Well, good. Well, we're glad you guys enjoyed it. Hey, Mike Jablonski from Wikiwachi, Florida. I made a trip from the east coast of Florida to Sebastian to Wikiwachi this weekend. Love watching your stream. Keep it up. Well, thank you so much, That's Mike. awesome. Thank you. We hope you enjoy Wikiwachi. Okay. Dave says, you know, dollops are quite refreshing when it's this hot. <laughs> That's true, Dollop Dave. Dramos, that Lego set looks amazing. Uh, it's a little pricey for us right now, but it looks really cool. Yeah, it looks really, really pretty. <laughs> but it is very pricey, that is true. All right, so next up is Thunder Mountain, which uh, unfortunately is quite possibly the most remote ride in Walt Disney World right now. It kind of is. Because like, you don't even have Splash Mountain to 
make it a little bit better because you know they're both over there. It's literally just thunder. <laughs> Here's a Sleepy Hollow guys. They have really good uh, snacks here. There's one snack in particular I have not yet had and it's on my list. It's a waffle with Nutella Ooh. and fresh fruit. Like I haven't had that yet, but it that looks so good. Completely contrary to hydration. Oh yeah. I'm not <laughs> saying I want that right now. I'm just saying I want it in the future. It's Tiana. Tiana guys. All right. Yeah, that's where um, the Muppets used to have their uh, meet and greets there as well, but now it's uh, Princess Tiana. It is. I hope they bring back the Muppets too. That would be good, yeah. Mark Rogers says 100 days, 14 hours. But who's counting, counting, right, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome, Mark. Disney World Lodge sent us a super chat, guys, $4.99, and they say, love the mountain stuff. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for that super chat, Walt Disney World Lodge. We Thank really appreciate you. it. Yeah, it's, it's uh, been fun so far. We've done two of the four. Yeah. We're going to go do Thunder Mountain now, and then we're going to take on the big challenge, the uh, Expedition Everest over of, at like, Animal Kingdom. Yeah. And in case you guys didn't hear it earlier, Eric has never been on, on um, I keep wanting to say Mount Everest. Expedition Everest. Expedition Everest. So that's going to be exciting. It will be. First time. Let's First do this. time for her. But before we do, we're going to go enjoy Thunder Mountain. Uh, by the time we get back, we'll see what's going on. But we'll make our way out of the uh, out of Magic Kingdom from there. Yeah. And we'll park up, take the bus over to... Uh, before Animal we Kingdom. leave the park, though, we're going to get a coffee. Yes. <laughs> Okay. I don't want to forget about the coffee. Oh, I was going to ask you which park you wanted it in. Oh, I've, oh, shoot. Animal Kingdom has my favorite, the matcha. It does. The matcha frozen latte. Oh, it's not latte. It's just a frozen matcha. <laughs> I wonder if I put espresso in it. No, because then it wouldn't be so cold. Do you want to be misty? Uh, <laughs> no. All the children are uh, enjoying, that. enjoying that. So let the children enjoy. And guys, if you're new here, we're the Park Hoppers. We're Monica and Eric. We go live from the parks all the time now. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us again in the future. Also, uh, if you haven't done it yet, please consider hitting that like button. We'd really appreciate that as well. <laughs> I uh, can't do it. I'm like, I have the fan on the phone. <laughs> tomorrow, we'll be live again, I think, from Epcot. We're oh, going to yeah. be uh, covering the concert, Simple, Simple Plan, Plan, over at Epcot. And uh, we'll be live most of the week, I think, uh, with different, uh, different experiences, different adventures around Walt Disney World. And we'd love to be able to bring you along. So if that sounds like fun to you guys, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you with us. Okay. Let's make our way to Thunder. Alright, okay, this should be a Splash Mountain update. Okay. Oh, thank you, Nikki Mouse. That is our Instagram, guys. If you want to follow us on there, we're almost at a thousand followers on Instagram. We are. Thank you so much, everybody. Yeah. It looks so different without the tree on top. That's a great question, Jay Harry. We are not 100% certain yet. We have a park reservation for the 4th of July, just in case. Uh, but we'll let you guys know as soon as we know, okay? <laughs> hey, Mike from the beaches of Delaware. Thanks for being here. Jeff Davis says, Eric, don't get a Bruno problem with Everest. Say, Silencio Bruno. Silencio Bruno. <laughs> oh, goodness. 50 States Vodka from Boca Raton. Welcome in. Welcome in. <laughs> All right. We need to get in this line as soon as we can because everyone else over here is here We're for this line. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's do it. Okay. After tricks to you. Alright, it did say 25 when we entered. It did. We'll see how that goes. We entered at 449. Looks like we're not going to be winning outside, and that's good. Yeah, that's excellent. Oh, I think so. 
No drinking, fighting, or whistling. No kidding. Proceed with caution. Well, that's a good sign. That's a very good sign.
All right, guys. Baby Yoda mode. Thank you. Now this ride does lag quite a bit guys, so be prepared for that, but uh, we'll show you as much of it as we possibly can. And in fact, uh, when we first get down to where we're going to load onto the vehicle, we'll do a quick refresh to make sure we're on the closest tower possible, and uh, we should be good to go from there. Which side, honey? Maybe to your left? Left? Okay. I'm gonna try to squeeze right here. Right there. Okay, yeah. What did we ask for? Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna try Three. Oh, front row, we're only gonna see the train. Thank you. Thank you. No, we, I mean, it'll show some things, but. Uh, Would you rather have row three? No, I don't, I don't know what the best row is on this ride. I don't know, I just figured that way you don't have somebody else. The That's train true. is pretty cool to look at. That's true. It is pretty cool. This one is the I Am Fearless. Let's see if I can take you guys off my chest a little bit to see that. And partners, for your safety, remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train and be sure to watch your kids. If any of you folks are wearing hats or glasses, best remove them, because this here's a wild
right, guys. Lumber. <laughs> Ready to bring down the lumber? Alright. Yeah. 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 It's so sunny! Goodbye, goats. Goodbye, goats. Woo! Woo! Oh. <laughs> Down we go. Woo! <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that. That is the third mountain of the day and the last one here at Magic Kingdom. All right. Sounds good to me. All right, everybody, we're gonna put you on, uh, be right, be right back, and we'll get you back on the gimbal.
Thank you, Kelly. Thank you. Oh, you probably want this, don't you? I do. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you. All right, by the sound of it, a train just came in, so we're going to get another second to go ahead and exit by us, if that's all right. We're going to move one over here. We'll push it. All right, guys, we should be back. Hey, little Peppa. How'd you guys like uh, Big Thunder Mountain? Marty says we're back. Welcome back, Marty. Thank you, guys. Shannon says, why didn't you grab the goat? That could have been a free meal tonight, or at least grab Jeff's possum. It's good eating, too. Oh, boy. <laughs> Kalar says, I love how all four mountains have vastly different themes. That's what makes Disney so great. Agreed, Kyle. So if Day says, awesome, three down. Yes, one to go, guys. Marty says, streamed well. That's great to hear. Thank you, guys. That's awesome. Thank you, everybody. All right, let's head out. There goes the Liberty Bell. Yeah. So with that, guys, I think we're done with our mountain challenge. I don't think we need to do that last one with the, do we, do we really need the, the scary last yeti one? and the backwards and notion and the, <laughs> all that nonsense at another park entirely. I mean, that just seems to make it more difficult, right? Especially a park that closes in less than two hours. That's, that's just silly. Uh, yeah, maybe a little silly. I don't think we need to do such a thing. It's just ridiculous, right? <laughs> Chef Davis is like, Silencio Bruno! <laughs> Nick, he's like, nice try, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew Hildebrandt, now Eric. <laughs> Marty M, absolutely. All went well with uh, each mountain so far. Now we're going to go catch a bus over to Animal Kingdom. I was thinking about getting an iced coffee here at Magic, but then you uh, reminded me that my favorite uh, Joffrey drink is at Animal Kingdom. So do you know which one you'd rather have? I mean, it sounds like a nice thing to have a drink on the way there, but um, yeah. I think I'd rather wait for my matcha, uh, my frozen matcha over at Animal Kingdom. Okay. In which case, would you rather have it after we do... Uh... Oh, yeah. We would want to do it after. Yeah. Because if we get a drink now, that would be good because, you know, we could drink it on the way there. Right. But if we get it after... Uh... Everest? Yeah. We still have to take the bus back to Magic Kingdom anyway, so we'd oh, be able to drink it then. That's true. Yeah. That works out. And Anderson, hello, trying to get out of Everest, I see. Oh no, they caught you. Christina Riley, stop trying to talk yourself out of it. Be safe, Joseph Dion. Amanda Frank is like, come on, do it. Come on, Eric. And Jeff Davis says, get a pink drink for the ride and a victory coffee after. Oh, what's a pink drink? Oh, the one at Starbucks? Oh, you know what's happening in less than a minute? What's happening in less than a minute? Uh, the Adventure Friends Cavalcade. Do you want to stand right here and just... Oh my goodness, good <laughs> Oh my gosh, all right guys. So, unexpected, uh, wonderful surprise. The Adventure Friends Cavalcade. You gotta get a parade in here, right? Yeah. Good call. I didn't even see the time. <laughs> I did not think we'd make it in time for this because I thought we'd still be in line for Thunder Mountain at this point. Matthew Helderbrandt says, Eric's just killing time until Animal Kingdom closes. Oh, is that what he's doing, Matthew? <laughs> Adventure Friends Cavalcade, you gotta stop and watch that. We have to, but I think we're gonna still make it to Animal Kingdom, guys. Don't worry. And you know what's right after the Adventure Friends Cavalcade? You got the uh, the hoedowns, too. No, no, we gotta <laughs> go to Animal Kingdom. <laughs>
we're going or where we're headed next. We still I'm gotta walk that way. I'm so happy. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the Adventure Friends Cavalcade. What happened? I said we hope you enjoyed the Adventure Friends Cavalcade. We should beat it back over to uh, Main Street if you want to watch it a second time. I mean, I'm not trying to milk it for more time or anything. I think you are now. I didn't think so before. Could you imagine how little... surprised and confused Turk would be? Oh my goodness, yes, let's go see Turk again. <laughs> Oh, uh oh, we only have 30% battery life left also. What? Oh no, I only packed two batteries. And we haven't used a single one of them yet. So. <laughs> like, I think we're okay on battery level. <laughs> Nikki, do like, he so is, we see straight through you, Eric. Uh oh. You're in trouble, mister. I know, apparently I need a better tan. I didn't know I was transparent. You must be. It would be cool to see Turk again though. It would be cool to see Turk again. I was like, oh, it's our Turk. <laughs> we miss you. Nick's like, Eric's really reaching, man. Zori's like, just do Tiki Room instead of Everest. <laughs> we'll still do Everest. We've got plenty of time, guys. Plenty of time. Oh, did you want an I love a U float? Yes. No? Uh, okay. Kind of. Oh. <laughs> but like, we need to catch the cavalcade again. We're just taking a leisurely walk and we're still outpacing the, uh, the cavalcade. Where do you want to um? I think on Casey's from. corner. Yeah, that sounds good. If uh, if it's not overfilled, if it is, then we'll make our way a little bit more towards uh, Town Square. And yeah, we'll take a ride here. Yeah, they're just now hitting the hub. Yeah, we got time to see them from Casey's. Oh yeah. And we'll hydrate, which is good. Shannon said, I may be wrong, but I swore Eric got attacked by a giant monkey in the parade. These attractions are getting dangerous. <laughs> that was Turk, guys. That's Tarzan's best friend. And I think our best friend now, too. Plenty of time, Nick. Plenty of time. We need that as an emoji, also. Oh, yeah. Plenty of time? Yeah, because how many times have we said plenty of time? Plenty of times. Plenty of times. Vamos. Something, 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 yeah. Vamos. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder about the Starbucks line is. Just like, just like a thought. Oh, oh, you're you're looking to milk time a little bit too? I mean, yeah, you're yeah. you're wanting to do things here at Magic just, Kingdom a little bit more too? <laughs> I was just curious if it's Starbucks, that's all. Yeah, I think it's Starbucks. Yeah, it's Oh, we've got a corner spot right here if we want it. Perfect. Yeah. You don't want the front spot? Yeah, I'll do that. Sure. Let Turkey attack you with kisses first. Oh, me first, huh? <laughs> oh, seeing the castle's nice. Yeah, I really like the paint touch-ups they've done on the on the towers. 
It really pops. It does. Do you have any water, honey? Yes. Yeah. Do you mind if I uh, drink some of that? Thank you. Oh, Prince Ryan, yes, tomorrow is stitch day, 626. So true. Where are we going to be tomorrow? Oh, we're going to be at Epcot tomorrow for a uh, simple plan. <laughs> Jeff Davis is like, plenty of time as the park offer is free to do. Pretty much. That's possible. Like, uh, yeah, I would like your bag on sip. And I'll just say a quick sip if you'll hold this. Yeah, yeah. thank you. And then oh. open it, please. I think I heard a guest saying instead of vamos, mambo. And I was like, oh, that's <laughs> funny. I hear that too. Mambo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mambo. Hey, Kit. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Iggy. I think your chat stopped. Oh, did it? Unless it's on the. Yeah, yeah it definitely did. Well guys, very quickly, let's reset just so that we can get the chat back. So we're going to do a quick refresh. And we should be back.
there's no line. We have to wait until there's a line for, uh... Um, there's, like, like really nobody good. in here. Well, because everybody was enjoying the cavalry. Exactly. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed the double feature of the Adventure Friends Cavalcade. Just want to get a drink for the road? Okay. Like a winner thing. You do? It's back? Angela says, I had to take a call and when I thought you were leaving Magic Kingdom, I came back and you not left. So we saw the uh, we saw the Adventure Friends Cavalcade twice and uh, we went to grab a coffee as well on the way out. We're going to get the uh, coffee and we're going to uh, head out of the park, head to the bus seat and head towards Animal Kingdom. So while you were uh, ordering your coffee, yeah, what uh, Angela said I had to take a call and I thought you were leaving Magic Kingdom, I came back and you'd not left. And uh, Shannon said, Mary Poppins, I love her. I like the woman who tells me I'm wrong all the time and tells me what to do. <laughs> Rise of the Resistance for the first time. That's awesome. And she got a mode. I'm so happy for her. That's awesome, That's Jim. So cool, Jim. Rise of the Resistance is our ultimate like favorite ride in all like all the Disney parks. Oh, yeah. You want to turn around and say hi to people? Sure. They're going to come out there. Get out of their way. So I think hello, that's hello. what a knock means, right? Yeah, usually. I got like curly hair going on. You want me to hold that? Totally. I got it. Totally. 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 So, guys, we are the park office. I can hold it too. I was just Oh, Nikki says Eric is so stalling right now. I'm not the one who said go to. Okay. I'm the one who says to go to Starbucks, guys. I, I admit, I'm the bad guy. I was I gonna said, follow the cavalcade all the way out of the park. I know you were, but I was like, Starbucks looks kind of empty. Starbucks never looks empty. And I was like, a coffee for the road to go to Animal Kingdom sounds really nice. So, it's my fault. But we're still going to Animal Kingdom, guys. Yeah, Kenneth, I'm used to very short hair. I am not used to that. So. That's my water pot so. line. Waters. I got a Mickey Waters. Mickey Waters. Mickey Waters. Oh, I think that cast member was from like Boston or something. It was saying Water. Water? Yeah, it was so cool. <laughs> No pressure, honey. I know, I feel so much pressure right now. 
There's only 500 people watching you do this. Oh my goodness, I'm like extra nervous. <laughs> Sounds good, Jeff Pondon. Drive safe. Safe travels, Jeff. Oh no, I'm already making a mess. Oh no. Don't worry, guys. I will wipe up my mess. Jim Dempsey says, click the leak. I mean, like button. Oh no, we did it again. Joey G says, now this is TV. <laughs> You've been okay. cold. I've been cold. Okay, I'm coming. I'll close it up. There. Okay, you got it. Okay. Yep. You aged too old to yourself. Exactly. Cool. Would you like an ask for one real quick? I can get one. Yep. Alright. Unless you want to ask for the show? Yeah, I'll go ask for it real quick. Can we get a straw? Thank you. Appreciate it. Sounds good, Joey G. Catch it uh, when you get back. See you later, Joey. You got us a straw? Yep. Alright, give me one second and I'll get that from you. You got it. Oh, I didn't realize that my backpack opened. Oh, let's see, get the water bottle. Right. I'm remembering things. Nathan says, next time we should keep score of how many ice cubes are lost during that. <laughs> no ice cubes were harmed in the making of that water. I think we're, uh, yeah. Our mess is clean. Let's move on. <laughs> oh, I need the show. Yep. Thank you. You got it. Now that looks like a refreshing coffee. Yes, look. We got a white chocolate mocha, half macadamia nut, half white chocolate. And the cookie toffee crumble things, I can never remember the name of them. <laughs> Eric's having the first sip, guys. Oh my goodness. I know he if I don't, it'll be gone real quick. <laughs> oh, is that, is that what it is? Oh, that's delicious. That's amazing. Okay. Let's go now. All, all is right with the world. Okay, well it's it's 5.33, I think the park's closed, so I don't think there's any reason to head over to Animal Kingdom, right? We can go wherever, I don't care, I have coffee now. <laughs> Alright, let's get over to Animal Kingdom, everybody. I'm going back into the park. Where I know, going? I'm like, where are you going? <laughs> oh, I was going back into the park. Yes. You want to go back and ride Space Mountain again so soon? Apparently. <laughs> I'm all happy with the coffee. I'm like, I'll just walk forever. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> well, we got to finish out the mountain challenge first. Oh, yeah. At okay. least. Mountain challenge has to be accomplished today. And that cannot be accomplished without going to Animal Kingdom to get on Everest. So. I mean, technically, we finished the mountain challenge. We did Thunder and we did Space. And you can't do Splash anymore. So That's we true. may have technically replaced it with Seven Doors. Yeah. However, but it's you know, not our mountain challenge. This is our mountain challenge. This is our. This is the mountain challenge with a park hopper twist. There it, has to be some park hopping. Exactly. So, we got to go do Everest. I don't really want to. It doesn't sound like a lot of fun. It sounds kind of painful and it, yeah, alarming. Kind, and, it is kind of alarming. It is kind of painful. And I hear there's a Yeti who's stuck in the 70s and 80s. Disco Yeti? No? Okay. Anyway, but... We're going to say goodbye to Cinderella Castle for now and make our way over to Animal Kingdom. We've got coffee, we've got water, we've got an incredibly hot sun that just came back out from behind some clouds. Are you laughing at the same thing I was No. Matthew Hildebrand says, 
watch the bus conveniently break down as Eric slips the driver a 50. Oh no. Eric has a 50? <laughs> that, that's, that's a better question right there. <laughs> like, where'd you get that $50, Eric? I'm like, we just spent it all at Starbucks. <laughs> Gigi's like, it's fine, Eric. It goes backwards, then it goes forwards again. <laughs> oh no, Gigi, we haven't told him it goes backwards yet. He didn't know. Actually, he has suspicions because people have mentioned it in the chat. That is true. Nathan says, if you're not careful, you may ride the rails, Eric. No, no. That sounds dangerous. That does sound dangerous. Right now. There's not. Yes, Crispy, we're very sorry about uh, your That's experience with popcorn. Everest. Free popcorn. It actually looks freshly, freshly dropped. <laughs> freshly dropped. We gotta go to where? Buses? To the buses. To the buses. To the and left. we can't show security, so nope. this way. Yep. And we'll go down because we'll have to go through security up there. The NV says, I thought you guys were looking pretty rough, then I realized that my TV bumped the quality down to 240. Everyone oh, make no. sure you're at 1080p. Yes, guys, we are streaming on 1080p. Thank you so much for, Leon, for that reminder, Leon. Thank you, Leon. <laughs> Shannon says, go back on Thunder Mountain, throw a cup of water in your lap, and boom, Splash Mountain. <laughs> That's true. That is fair. And we're through. We are through. To the buses, everybody. Nicovello says, Eric, as somebody who's an absolute pansy on rides, I believe in you. Oh, thank you. We'll be all right. That'll be fine. Right? So no, it. you won't be fine. You're going to be doomed. Don't say that. That's the terrible. The going to capture you. Wait, which way do we need to go? Uh, Let's we got to look at the board. It's so bright. All right. Just uh, I see Animal Kingdom Lodge. No, we don't want Animal the Lodge. Kingdom we want the park. Animal Kingdom 7. We want gate 7. Where's 7? To the left. To the left, okay. To the left, to the left. We're looking for gate number seven, guys. The bus that you want is in the gate to the left. We're number seven. Kind of sad that that worked out as well as it did. Oh, look, the train is passing by on the left hand side. Oh, it is. Pretty cool. So much Disney, Disney uh, transportation happening right here. Oh, and then I hear the boat. Yeah, the train, the monorail, the boat, the bus, all right in this location. <laughs> Hannah Anderson says, seven is in between six and eight. That's where seven is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so what you're saying is we should get on buses six or eight, not on seven. And then when we're on the wrong bus, that's how we get out of Everest. That's brilliant. Oh, no. These are crazy thoughts, guys. Crazy thoughts. Shannon says, Eric, you keep that up and everything you own will be in a box to the left. <laughs> oh, no. We found number seven, everybody. Nicky Mouse says, I can already see how this is going to go. Based on how Eric handled the last rides, he won't say a pee. He might get an <laughs> oop, but that'll be the extent of it. This time I'm going to be right next to him. I don't know. <laughs> I might scream a little. Especially when the Yeti happens. Ooh, that one's going to French Quarter. It says bonjour. We could go get Mickey Beignets. Oh yeah, Mickey Beignets. Come back, French Quarter bus. It'll go perfectly with our coffee. Oh my gosh. I got to get another sip in. <laughs> I told you have some. <laughs> Kyle says, Disco Yeti can't hurt you. <laughs> Jim Dempsey says, ooh la la. <laughs> yeah, guys, we got the Starbucks white chocolate mocha with half the white chocolate syrup and half the macadamia nut syrup. And then I got it topped off with, like, the cookie toffee crumble thing. I don't know what it's called. I'm sorry. But it's amazing. So good. Highly recommend it. And iced because it's really hot. It is. But we really needed coffee, uh, so thank you again, Nikki Mouse. All 
right, guys. Hey, Christina. Oh, I missed the uh, comment about her. Nikki Mouse says, act quickly, Eric. Coffee tends to evaporate around coffee levers. That is true. It is going pretty quick, isn't it? I'm sorry. I have a problem that's <laughs> not a problem that's amazing because I love coffee. Carl Swengo says, still looking for platform nine and three quarters myself. Oh, no. Jeff Davis says, French Quarter? Sacre <laughs> bleu. Oh, that would be awesome, Prince Ryan. A Lion King rap bus to go to Animal Kingdom? That would be awesome. That would be really cool. Oh, I think I see the Animal Kingdom bus coming. Is it Lion King themed? I don't know. I don't think it is, so I don't no. think we should get on it. Um, it's Minnie Mouse? I think we have to wait on the Animal, uh, you know, the Lion King themed bus. <laughs> So Big Al, we're heading for Animal Kingdom. We're gonna go get on Everest. Hello, Animal Kingdom bus. It's the Minnie Mouse bus. Wait, I just saw Minnie Mouse going to French Quarter. Minnie Mouse is also going to Animal Kingdom. Coffee backpack? Yes, that would be, yeah, that would be amazing. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Marty M says many kids are out. <laughs> oh, I don't know, guys. I see some clouds. Yeah. Uh oh. They're if not that. A, they're not that bad. If there's a thunderstorm, they'll have to close the ride. You want to go right here? about the inversions on this ride, right? The inversions on the bus ride? Yep. No. Miss Shannon says, I see that. You didn't pay your bus fare. Shame, shame. I know your name. <laughs> Seen that you didn't pay your bus fare. Shame, shame, I, I know you did. Oh, okay. I'm losing my mind, everybody. It's very hot outside. <laughs> Kyle R says it's pretty big for a minibus. That's true. I was waiting for you to be like, that's what I meant too. <laughs> Nothing. Jeff Davis says pop quiz hot shot. There's a Yeti on the bus. <laughs> There's a Yeti. Where's the Yeti? <laughs> Yeti? Uh, I didn't see a Yeti. I, I don't think we see one here yet, Chef. Oh, look, Not an Yeti. For Elemental. There is an advertisement for Elemental. I heard it, um, I think a few people in chat the other day told us it's really good. Very cool. Yeah, it was Kelly and Ryan for the longest time. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess Seacrest... I used to uh, watch it when it was Kelly and Regis. Right. Me too. Okay. Hey, Andrew! She said we should get there. 
Oh, Jeff Davis says it's from the movie Speed, but I replaced the bong with Yeti. Oh, understood, Jeff Davis. <laughs> Get it now. But yeah, so now it's um, Kelly and Mark, which is uh, their husband and wife. That's pretty cool. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, Andrew says Ryan left the show a month ago. Okay, so it recently happened. That was like last time I watched the show, it was uh, Kelly and Ryan. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that now, Jeff Davis. I forgot. Time really flies. It like, does fly. It's kind of crazy. Oh, and Ryan retired from it. Okay. Thank you, Lini. Oh, it's nice to get some air conditioning and sit down and not be concerned that we're about to launch. <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of true. Yeah. It is nice. Shannon says, yeah, but imagine being with your husband 24 hours a day. Well, I don't have a husband. Neither do I, so I don't know that I could imagine it either. <laughs> Sounds pretty rough, though. Vanessa says, are you coming back to the park later? Well, we're headed to Animal Kingdom now, Vanessa, to uh, get on Mount... Why do I keep calling Mount Everest? I thought you were going to say Mount Fuji there Mount for a moment. <laughs> Expedition Everest. Expedition Everest, guys. I'm sorry. I keep calling it the wrong thing like all day. That's going to be our last coaster to get on to do our mountain challenge for today, guys. I'm so excited that it's going to be over. <laughs> <laughs> and when it's over, we'll make our way back to Magic Kingdom. So we might take you guys for another bus ride. Yeah, we'll take the bus back to Magic Kingdom. And um, if you guys are still around and want to come with us, you're more than welcome to. Nicobolo says, oh man, the bus broke down. I guess we can't get to Animal Kingdom. Oh, okay, Vanessa. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Shannon says, Eric, did you hear that hint from Monica? What hint, Shannon? <laughs> I heard nothing. <laughs> oh my goodness, Kevin Coda. What happened? Kevin Coda gifted five car copper memberships. Who Thank you so it? much, Coda. Thank you so much, Kevin Coda. Andrew, Marty, <laughs> Leanne, Jimmy Tiger. Oh my goodness. Kaisha. <laughs> Welcome to the membership, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Coda. Thank you, Kevin. And for those who just became park coppers on our channel, guys, hope you enjoy the emojis. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Emoji away. Thank you so much, Kevin Coda. Oh, oh, we're on the move. I guess that's all we had to do in order to go to Animal Kingdom. I guess I should have kept it like pointed the other direction. I guess. We'll point it out the other way so you guys can see all the... Like, all the stuff as we go. All the stuff as we go. Thank you again so much, Coda. Thank you, Coda. Mark Schultz says, Expedition would be a great place to propose. It also might delay long enough to avoid the ride. Oh, no. <laughs> Jeff Davis says, surprise, Eric's going to have the disco yet he proposed to Monica. <laughs> <laughs> that would be interesting. Simon Rogers in the house. Hey, Simon. Hey, Simon. So, Andrew, we intend to do the concert tomorrow. Yeah, Simple Plan, we're going to um, live stream that tomorrow for sure. Yeah, we're going to have the
M saying, Hi guys, Expedition Everest is my daughter's favorite ride. Her name is Kaylee. She's nine. That's awesome, Luciana. Thank you so much, Luciana. I think that's their way of saying Eric suck it up. <laughs> my nine year old daughter loves this ride. Well, that's awesome that Kaylee loves Everest. It's been a very long time for her.
Hey, Josh Iron. for the coffee. quite a long time for me as well. Dr. 
Jimmy says the coming Pixar movie Trains has been cancelled. It will be replaced with buses. No way. I can't tell. Is that a joke or for real? <laughs> uh, Corn Dog Jimmy was just saying the Pixar movie Train was cancelled and it's going to be replaced with buses. And I don't know if it's for real or not. <laughs> Megan says, oh, Eric's first time, he's going to be scared, broken, or maybe both. That's possible, Megan. Scared, what? Broken, or maybe both. <laughs> oh, yeah, we do have to go through security again. We're going to have to get everything set up once we know Oh, Mandalorian says, you guys should do the safari also. I don't know if we'll have time for the safari. Well, totally have to see. It's we'll we'll see. Right now. Yeah, we'll see as soon as we get ever off of Everest uh, what we can do for sure. What do you need? I'm not worried about it. Oh no. Yeah. So. Alright guys, hold on just a moment. Just look straight ahead here. Yeah, also just need to make sure that everything doesn't look like a mess of wires and batteries, which is not a good sign. Exactly. Okay. So. I'll hold the gimbal. Thank you. And then you can get everything. I was off. just gonna set the gimbal down. Okay. Hold on, everybody. We're gonna get uh, everything in the bag ready to go for security. Are you okay? Are you okay? I think 26 percent will be a good enough to get on and off of Everest. So I think we can do the transfer soon, also. I'll get the uh, bag situated and then we'll transfer phones again. I think it's a good idea. So oh, Wayne says the fire closes at seven, five minute wait now. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you, Wayne. Yeah, we, I mean, we absolutely love Animal Kingdom. The safaris are absolute favorite ride here. Granted, we haven't done, there's one ride we still haven't done here. But, uh, oh, be careful, there's an earthworm behind you. Oh, okay. We get to Animal Kingdom and all the animals are out and about, including the earthworms. Earthworm will get you. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. We're going to go and do uh, Expedition Everest and just depending on what time we get out of Expedition Everest, if uh, we can make it to Safari, we'll try our best. Yeah. Sounds good to me. I like the Safari. We love the Safari. <laughs> we love the Safari, I mean. Granted, I did get stung last time. Well, the time before last. Always. But you know the last time on the safari, we had a really good safari driver. That is true. So that was really nice last time. And that, and that was during the live stream. Hey, Huda, Dave. Hey, Mark. Hey, Chelsea. All right, guys, almost have things looking somewhat orderly in the bag. Oh, I gotta make sure that we have all the Yeah, Jay Harry, there was gonna be a Dragon Land, um, an Animal Kingdom. It just never came to fruition. Yeah, like uh, Mystical Animals and stuff like that? Yeah. Legends or something? Wayne's like, sorry, I forgot. Safari is not a mountain. But it kind of feels like we're going over mountains during the safari, really. <laughs> like, if you think about it. Yeah, bit. like, I mean, we absolutely love the safari. So after Everest, if we have time, uh, we'll see what we're looking at. Yeah. I'm gonna grab this so okay. we can show some views of the bus area. Where's the earth one? Oh. I know this is super not interesting, but like, here's the earthworm I was talking about. Yeah! I just was like, so they know what I was talking about. I'm like, we get to Animal Kingdom and there's an earthworm. Okay, I'm gonna show like Animal Kingdom transportation now. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go in be right back mode for just a moment, guys, as we transfer back over to the other phone again. Okay. So bear with us, everybody. We're gonna go in, uh, <laughs> in be right back mode. We'll be right back.
Unless it's not letting us from here. Okay, it may not let us. Hey, look, more animals. There's a lizard on a tree. We can call that a dinosaur, right? Or not really. I'm not sure. <laughs> Jim says Safari has that termite mound. You can call that a mountain. I think Jim's onto something here. Steven says everyone... Oh, a tornado warning is coming on Florida. Well, be safe, everybody. Keep an eye on the news. Keep an eye on the weather. And just stay safe. Absolutely. A1A Disney says you could do Flight of Passage for the floating mountains. That is fair. All right. So Can you try the Be Right Back screen again and see if it works? I think it's not going to because it's it's the iPhone and it doesn't yeah. like the iPhone. So gotcha. we're going to go ahead and transfer phones, guys. Give us just a second here. Right, that's looking strange. Let's try that again. Mm -hmm. Much better. Okay. Woo. Bugs. Right. We can really tell we're in Animal Kingdom. <laughs> All right, we should be back, everybody. Make sure your live icon is red and your settings are set to 1080p. If not, try refreshing. Angela, we'll definitely check that out when we get home. Angela sent us a message on uh, Patreon. Okay, thank you so much, Angela. Thank you, Angela. We'll check that out when we get home. Oh, Simon Rogers says Soren starts by flying over mountains. That sounds really pretty. Well, he's saying, like, like technically you can think of that as a mountain. Oh, guys, the worm is okay. Um, it's just on its way to um, the grass, to, like, the, uh, the, the dirt area. Back. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, everybody. All right. Uh, got all the stuff? I will get all the stuff. Did you get all your stuff? Yep. All good oh, to go. I just got to get one of the things out of my backpack. Yep. So it says Animal Kingdom's that way. Animal Kingdom closes in 48 minutes, though, guys. We could just go back. Look, there's a dinosaur on the pavement. There is. It's a dinosaur. No, thank you, honey. Tell her, Dave says, tell Eric to quit stalling. <laughs> let's head that way? Yep, let's do it. Disney Disney says, hi, everyone. Hi, Disney Disney. How Disney are you? Disney Disney. All right, we're good. Hey, Connie Rathbun. Hey, Connie. Happy Sunday. My name's like, better get going. Absolutely. Hey Disney Disney, Michelle's saying it's thundering in Downsville right now in here. How is the rain? I can't throw things away to save my life right now. <laughs> Alright guys, so for the mountain challenge, we have accomplished Thunder Mountain, Seven Dwarves, Mine Train, and Space Mountain. We are on our way into Animal Kingdom for Expedition Everest. Yes! Oh my gosh, I'm like nervous now that we're here. Right? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Patrick Julian. Good to see you, Patrick. So guys, right around the corner up here is security. When we go through security, unfortunately, we're gonna have to put you back in B-Ray right pack mode. Uh, but as soon as we get through on the other side, whichever of us gets through first, we'll bring you back and yeah, we'll go from there. I mean, at this time of day, we should get through pretty okay, right? Oh yeah. I don't know, it just seems like a lot of folks, uh, I think a lot of folks are leaving and going. Yeah, there's also a shift change, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, Only a 20 minute wait for Everest currently. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you, corn dog Jimmy. 
Thomas M says, hi guys, Eric, I just heard Everest is holding a front row seat for you. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. Gosh, guys, the more you guys talk about it as if it's this big thing, the more I'm like, oh, <laughs> is it this big thing? I mean, it, it's a, you know, Mount Everest is pretty large. It is. And Yetis are kind of large. They are. And coasters are kind of large. But I mean, I, I love Tron and I've done Guardians twice now. Like, it's, it's not that bad, right? <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna put you in beer right back mode and we'll be right back pretty soon. Uh, a little bit of a walk and we just have to figure out where to go. Okay, straight ahead. There we go. All right, let's uh, put you all... Yeah. Take this yeah, I got it. And be right back. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Yes, you did. I will put your fan away for you if you'd like. Actually, I think I'd rather use it. Okay, well then I'll take that from you and I'll close up your bag. If you'll Thank take you. This. Yeah, we'll switch. Yep. All right, guys, Are we, we should be back. Bag is closed up. Thanks. All right, we should be back, guys. Oh, Simon says 10 minutes. That's amazing. Is it a 10 minute wait now? That's crazy. For Everest? Sounds like a walk-on. I've never heard of Everest being a 10 minute wait. That's wild. Well, there's some storm clouds coming, so we just got to be closed. Right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Angela says, that means it's a walk-on. Crazy. That's yeah. amazing. Even with the summer crowds, guys, there's still opportunity for great walk-ons like that. And that's like also like a huge thing of our channel. We'd love to show you what's out and available for Disney. What are things that are accessible, easy to do, and can be done. And fun. Exactly. Well, you know, we might need a chiropractor later, but... <laughs> Mario's like, you may get to ride twice. Oh no, Mario, oh, no. not twice. Oh, I think we'll put up with uh, Expedition Everest all right, but I don't know that we'll like it so much we want to ride it, you know, twice. I, I don't know about twice. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's, it's twice as nice. Ron says, Small World was a walk-on at Rope Drop. I wonder why, Ron. No way, Ron. <laughs> really? Small World, you don't say. Tell you what, I would love to ride Small World over in Disneyland one day. That is true. But I don't know what's happening. Let's I guess wait. So. Yep. Okay. How are you guys doing? We're in Duda. We're closing about 40 minutes. Yep. We're just trying to make a run we'll over there. To, to do all the things we, we came here to do. Yep. Thank you for that. Thank you. Have a good day. Oh, they're already closing up the guide maps oh, and everything. Wow. I need a map. I guess, uh, I guess, um, you could probably ask you could use the app. Oh, yeah, the app works too. <laughs> He's like, 40 minutes, we got plenty of time. Don't worry. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. I love Animal Kingdom so much. It's such a pretty park. Hey Isaac Neil! Hey 
music. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. You're here just in time to see Eric be a wimp. Oh yeah, just in time. <laughs> Angela okay. says, unfortunately for Eric, plenty of time. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. This is our last Mountain of the Mountain Challenge Expedition Everest here at Animal Kingdom. Nick says, man, even the cast member of the gate was trying to stall. I think so. <laughs> Maybe Eric called him ahead of time and was like, hey, try to like not let us come in. Come on, man. Work with me here. <laughs> Just make sure that the, the ring doesn't turn green. Make it like blue or something. <laughs> well, yeah, blue is the error. Make it red. Oh, man. Denied. Denied. Life. So pretty. It is. Are we gonna make it? Oh, we'll make it. Plenty of time? Yeah, plenty of time. Alright. So much so, you wanna go to the left and like go get in line for oh like. Oh my gosh, the babies! Do you think babies? The, the babies are out? What babies? No, they're probably away. The babies? cotton top. Oh, well, they might be out there. I saw the low. babies like, what, three days after they were born? Yeah. I wonder if they're out. Maybe not because the sun is really hot. I'm going to take a super quick photo. Okay. And if you're up for a selfie, that would be cool. Sounds good. Whatever it takes to stall, honey. To stall? Really? Uh, no, uh, whatever you'd like, honey, I mean. Selfie mode? Selfie mode. Okay. Which side are you getting on? Oh, is there a table? Ready? Alright, one of those is Yep. Alright, let's head to the left. Let's head to the left. Let's check on those. Uh... Let's see if we can see the babies. Yeah. I believe they're critically endangered. They're cotton top or cotton. Cotton top man, uh, I keep trying to say mandarins, like oranges. They're little tiny, tiny monkeys. Expedition ever stall. Quit stalling, guys. We got plenty of time, guys. We've got 39 minutes before Everest closes. Plenty of time. We're in the right park for it. We're just gonna go check and see how the little ones are doing. We kind of feel responsible for them in a way because we were there three days after they were born, you know? Oh, is that what it is? Sean Williams says, isn't the verse to the right, not left? I don't, I don't know. know. We, we haven't been in there in a while. It's on the other side of the world. It doesn't really matter if you go left or right. It's still going to get you there eventually. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Megan says, yes, it is, Jacob. Thomas is like, do Everest first, then mosey around. Well, hopefully... Hopefully we'll see the babies here real quick and then we'll make our way over to Everest and if we have enough time, maybe we'll have time for a, uh, a safari as well. I don't think we'll have time for the safari just because no? the safari closes at 7. That's true. But if we could see the uh, Conan Top babies, that'd be cool. That would be cool. And guys, in case you're wondering, Creature Comforts here at Animal Kingdom is the Starbucks location. John says they're taking the scenic route to Everest. Exactly. I think they're out. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, yep. oh my god. My wallet is right there. You didn't show the brakes. I did. That was very kind of you. I'll say thank you to you on their behalf. No, you're okay, honey. The cotton top tamarind. Oh, they're so cute. Where are the babies? Are they on her back? Yep, they're on her back right there.
Oh no, Everest has gone up to a 20 minute wait, honey. So Mama here had twins a couple of weeks ago. We were here three days after they were born, clinging on to Mama there. They have grown up so much in such a short amount of time. Absolutely. You can see their you can see their little faces now. So these are cotton top tamarins. That's the word. This is mom and dad, their first time parents. And these are their little twins. around quickly. Did you notice a tortoise here? There's a tortoise here? Oh yes there is. Alex J says cute but they're not a mountain. There is a tortoise down here. It's chowing down. I was like what am I hearing down here? And I was like there's a tortoise. <laughs> So cute. Kill this says, let's go. We're oh, yeah. waiting. Let's go. Hi animals, we love you. So cute. Okay, let's go. Alright, let's do it. This is. <laughs> What's up? Okay. I said they're coming back out of their home. Oh. They're so cute. Alex says, no, not a mountain either. <laughs> and Megan says, I know that the monkey would rip my face off, but I want to hug them. <laughs> Aren't they adorable? They were just born like weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And we were fortunate enough to be like here, what was it, like three days after they were born yeah. to see them? Yeah. And one of the uh, very kind cast members there who was doing the photography for them, like making sure everything was going okay, was uh, like giving us all that information. Yep. Which is awesome. Jim Dempsey says that tortoise will make it to Everest before Eric. <laughs> what are you saying? Guys, it's right there. See? Look, Everest. We're way almost, over there. We're almost there. Like way over there. Way, way. That does seem kind of far, right? Way over there. Do you think we're going to make it? I don't know. It's going to be. <laughs> you, know, you know what sounds great right now? It's Festival of the Lion King. Let's go enjoy Festival of the Lion King. We have 33 minutes. That's enough time, right? Festival of the Lion King? The safari closes at 7 today, guys. Yep. I'm not sure if I'll make it back. We'll see what time it is once we get off Everest. If I can ever get a, uh, Eric on Everest. You're the one who wanted to see the cotton top tamarins. I love seeing the cotton top tamarins. I know. The babies are so adorable. They are. And they're first time parents, the mom and dad. Nick is like, looks pretty far to me. Angela says, don't forget, if you fail, you'll have to do space and big thunder again. Oh no, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make it to Everest, guys. Oh, goodness. Oh, and um, not to stall or nothing, but like, Tree of Life looks amazing from here. It does. Hey, oh, no. Sonic. Hey, Score Jason. We are heading for Everest, everybody. The squirrel! <laughs> yeah. There is your photo spot right there. This is a beautiful photo spot, guys. If you're here at the Animal Kingdom and want to take a photo with your family, stunning, stunning location. Oh, like, spot. You get the waterfall, you get the Tree of Life. 
Honestly, I could stand here all day. We've got 31 minutes until the park closes, but I mean, the I could stand here. Me, so we oh, okay. Yeah, we don't want to get stung. I do not. Oh, let's take a selfie. Oh, okay. Yeah? Yeah. Just like super quick. Yep. Uh, I got to All right. Chef Davis says, Silencio Eric. <laughs> Alex J says, shift it, like, in reverse? Because, like, I can turn this car around, everybody. Don't make me turn this car around. No, okay, right, let's, let's go to Everest, everybody. Everest. Fine. <laughs> oh, look, this is, on the left here is Caravan Road. This is where you get that uh, Kakigori. Because you can get the Kakigori over in the Japan Pavilion at Epcot, but you can also get it right here. Oh. Yeah, Japanese shaved ice dessert flavored with water with watermelon and sweetened condensed milk. Four ninety nine. They also have the tropical shaved ice. I want to try that. Four ninety nine shaved ice with mango and watermelon syrup. Yeah. Like hey, that sounds really good. It does. Hey, Marius. Jenny Reed says I've called an Uber driver to get you all there. <laughs> hey, Marius. Carrie Jensen says hello. I'll have to look for babies Saturday when we're there. Absolutely. Yeah, yes, they're adorable. Carrie, they're so cute. Theme Park Fanatic's like, it's gonna close at this rate. <laughs> oh, we've got plenty of time, guys. <laughs> plenty of time. Plenty of time. Hey, Goofy guy. Hey, Gigi Aston. Oh, Mary says it'll be my first Everest, too. You're not alone, Eric. Oh, there we go. Well, we hope you enjoy, Marius. <laughs> Ron's like, look at all that space for high-speed walking. Or just taking our time. Enjoying the look, park. Look, the sign even says, please enjoy flowers by viewing them. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mom, we get to talk by a pigeon. There's just a pigeon. Kidding. It's quite beautiful. It was quite lovely. I enjoyed my time with the pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is Drinkwalla. If you're looking for a Coke slushie, this is the place to go. That seems oh, yeah. really good right now. Let's go get a Coke sashi. You might after Everest. Like that could be your your like reward. Oh, that could be my reward. Hey, David Darkey. We have not yet. We're on our way for Everest right now. It will be our fourth and final mountain of the day. Oh my gosh, Yaki and Yeti smells so good right now. It does, but okay, unfortunately, which, they also close in 28 minutes. Which way to uh, Everest? Straight ahead. Okay. Are you sure? Yep. Why did you want to go left and avoid Everest? Because we can do that. <laughs> Kevin Code is like, hey Eric, can you do me a favor and check and see if they have that Pumbaa bucket still? Wink, wink. <laughs> I'm glad you asked, Kevin Coda. Wait, no, we gotta go this way. I know. Clark Please. Kitty says, come on, Eric, don't be chicken. Oh, yes, Eric's being very chicken right now, guys. Hey, Good. Dennis. Hey, Dan's Bab. If you guys like stop for our food, stop for our food. Oh my goodness, I, that yak and yeti smells so good right now, guys. Well, there it is, guys. There's Everest. Mission accomplished. Jeff Skippy says, Are you nervous, Eric? No, 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 no. No, I don't know. It looks pretty big. Well, JJ Mickey says, We're coming up on Ron's space shuttle lunch watching area. Very cool. I mean, I get that Everest is tall, but I didn't know you could see rocket launches from Cape Canaveral on Everest. I mean, it is pretty tall. Hey, Josh. Oh, no. Koi Kitty says, this is Ava's favorite ride. You can do it if she can. Ava seems a lot braver than Eric. Ava? Oh, jeez. Thanks, honey. Ava okay, is a daredevil. Me. Okay. Ava seems a lot braver than Eric and me. Not gonna <laughs> lie. Matthew Hildebrand says, mission accomplished. You just had to see it. Question I, mark. <laughs> I mean, we never said we had to ride it, right? We got to do this mountain challenge, right, guys? We All have right, to. let's do it. Have to. Oh, there's a bar. 
You wanna? <laughs> oh yeah, I mean I'll, I'll I'll forget that there's even a mountain back there. We're good with that. <laughs> I heard this bar is actually really good. We've never been. The Thirsty River Bar? Yeah. They have a special drink here. I forget what it's called. I don't really understand their hours. That is a little confusing. Expedition Everest, we made it! Oh, so there was time to stop at the bar. I think there was time to stop at the bar. Yeah. <laughs> it says the legend of the Forbidden Mountain. Ooh. That sounds kind of intense. Yeti, guardian of the realm of the snow? Snows, yes. Respect tradition. Beware the legend of the Forbidden Mountain. Alright guys, this is gonna be Expedition Everest. Eric's first time ever. And it's been quite a few years for me. Let's go. Alright guys, we're gonna have to change over to Baby Yoda mode at some point. It is a 20 minute wait, stand by. Not too bad. Well, the good news is it has the same height requirement as Space Mountain. There's so many things that we can do. There are. Look at that open here. Yep. We gotta go. Hey, Josh with Resort TV One. Josh just had fun on this yesterday. Did it five times, lol. Well. Have fun. Five times? Oh my gosh. Thank you, Josh. Congrats on almost completing the mountains. Good to see you, Josh. Thanks for being here. Well, we're glad you enjoyed it five times yesterday. That's amazing. This will be our, this will be Eric's first time on Mount Everest, like ever. Matthew says Eric's wishing he was much shorter right about now. My goodness. Gonna have to put you guys in baby Yoda mode as soon as possible. Looks like such a friendly guy.
All right, guys, we should be back. Bad time to hurt my wrist. I don't know. All right, guys, the last mountain. Here we go.
That's not good at all. Oh, hey, there's a rainbow. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It looks really pretty. There is a rainbow. Is that a good sign? Or a I bad don't know. Sign? Oh. Beep, beep, beep. I guess technically the front is the back when we go backwards. Well, hello there, sir. You know, a Snickers bar would do you good. Oh, maybe some coffee. Coffee, yeah, coffee, I think. Uh-oh, that doesn't look good. Here we go. I guess you didn't like us. We didn't get to stay for dinner. We didn't get to stay for dinner? No. I don't think that's Yak and Yeti. Oh, okay. Maybe I was mistaken. That was a different Yak and Yeti. My bad. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh was that, that one. Was that like the worst part of the That was right the worst there? part. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's get the hat fixed there. Back on it goes. Hello there! Ooh! Alright, second worst part. Sounds good. Thank you, Zekra. You too. Alright, what do you think about Everest? It was a lot shorter than I remember. It was like, a thinking lot, that, it was uh, a lot faster. I've seen a couple of streams of it. As you can imagine, it's yeah. hard not to have at this point. But I always feel like it's so much longer than that. Oh, we're all the way over here on the right. I gotta hurry, I gotta hurry. I'm the one that got the pass. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm the one that got the pass. That's awesome. We'll have to check it when we get it. All right, yeah, let's uh, get everyone back on the gimbal again. Yeah, let's do that. Oh what do you think about it? crazy yeah oh angela gifted five um memberships no way thank you so much angela thank you angela guys we're gonna put you guys on be right back we'll be right back Ready? Yeah. And just like that, guys, we're back. Whoop, let's turn around. Hello, everybody. You guys were uh, riding Baby Yoda mode today. We hope you enjoyed that. That was our uh, mountain challenge. Mountain challenge Mountain complete? challenge accomplished, right? Yes. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, guys, we still are here, and we yeah. still have to go back to Magic Kingdom anyway. Uh, so, you know, if you'd like to join us, uh, please feel free to do so. We have 12 minutes before the end of the safari. That's true, but we're in the store. Okay, we can I show the spirit jersey that yes. I've had my eye on for yep. a long time because I have not seen it in person? Sounds good. Guys, oh. if, if you're new here, we are the Park Hoppers from Monica and Eric. We go live from the parks all the time now. Please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us again in the future. Also, if you haven't already, please hit that like button on this uh, video. We'd really appreciate that as well. Let's go look at uh, some merch. Just one item of merch I really have had my eye on. So okay. let's I'm gonna, go see it. I'm going to hand the gimbal over to you while yeah. I finish packing up the bag. Okay, sounds good. So hard and busy. All right, guys. This is the Expedition Everest Spirit Jersey. Isn't it cool? It's like the Yeti skiing down the slope. It has like this cool like blue print and like metallic words. I like it. Thank you guys so much for all the congratulations. Oh, this hat's pretty cool. Eric can have that one and I can wear this one. That's fun too, right? How much are those? 
Oh, the hats are $50. I'm not sure how much the spirit jersey is. I think it's like $85. <gasps> There's a mug to match it? What? Okay. Kind of digging the mug. Let's show you guys. It says Yeti Ski School Expedition Everest. $20. That's a really cool mug. That is a really cool mug. Alright, do you want to call uh, the gimbal again? Oh, sure. Yeah. Thanks. I'm in the gift shop, Mom. Shannon Blankenship says, Hi, Park Hoppers. I'm new here. Are you having fun at Universal Studios? You should see the whale show. It's amazing. The whale show? SeaWorld. Oh, SeaWorld. Okay, so the spare jersey is 80. Well, that'll be for another time, but like, it's really cool. It is really cool. I'm going to do just a really quick video clip of it. Okay. And then we can head out to catch the, um... The last safari? The last safari. Sounds good. Oh, there's even a sweater for it. Yeti Ski School. That's cool. We have 13% battery life left and dropping. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Yara Glover. We really like our uh, Be Right Back screen. Queen of Disney says, Congratulations, Monica and Eric, on completing your mountain challenge. Monica, I think you need a launch flight to celebrate. And Eric, you should do a victory round on Everest. <laughs> We have batteries, but unfortunately, they are not charging the phone faster than it is discharging. Maybe just because of the uh, heat, you know? Maybe. I'm going to try to plug one in anyway and see if it helps at all. So I'm going to step over okay, aside. Let's, let's head to the safari. Okay. Because we have time to get on it. Possibly. We could try anyways. Yeah. Why does that hot? Okay. <laughs> Keep on walking. Keep on walking. Let's go. Let's go. So see them. This was my first ride on it. I would say it's not as intense as like Guardians. Uh, it's a lot shorter for sure. Um, I would ride Tron over it, but if we're in Animal Kingdom, I won't be opposed to riding Everest again. Really? Really. It wasn't that bad. Okay. What do you think? Um, it was a lot more intense there at the <laughs> end than I recall, to All right. be honest. Yeah, the, the, like, the halfway point towards the end was a lot more intense than I remember. But the beginning was really nice. Hey, Shannon B. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate that. Thank you, Shannon. Tink for Life Jones says, I second the new launch fire from Monica. Oh my goodness, thank you guys. <laughs> Why it's Trampy says, just came on. What was the challenge? So the challenge was to ride all of the mountains in Walt Disney World. So that was uh, Thunder Mountain, Space Mountain, Seven Doors, Mine Train, and Expedition Everest. So it was the mountain challenge with a park hopper twist. Wayne's like, yay, yeah, added to your ride list. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And if it's streamed with no lag, that's awesome. Definitely didn't expect that much. That's amazing. That's great. Granted, it is pretty quiet here at Animal Kingdom right now. Hey, Lynn Butler. Hey, Lynn. Good to see you. All right, we're trying to make it to the safari, guys. Do you, I don't know if we're going to make it. Yeah, we'll, we'll make it. Eight minutes. We'll try. We'll make it. We'll make it. We're unless, make we're, it. unless we're distracted by coffee. Oh, yeah, no. We get the coffee after. Oh, but and the coffee will be closed after. If we don't get the coffee, it's okay. Oh, that's fair. The safari is more important. I think. I think so. <laughs> Shannon says, I just subscribed again? Oh, wrong Shannon B. <laughs> Hi, Shannon. You, Shannon, not me, Shannon, because that would be weird and redundant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeff Condon. Jeff, member for one month, Park Hopper. Says, one month? I've been here way longer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much, much Jeff. Jeff. Yeah, we just uh, we just turned on memberships a little over a month ago, so it is no surprise whatsoever that uh, you are, uh, you know, on your second month now. But uh, you have been with us for a very long time, so thank you so much, Jeff Condon. We oh, yeah. really appreciate you. Thank you so much, Jeff. Justin Frank's like, gotta go back to Magic Kingdom for the car, so get the coffee in Magic Kingdom. Oh, that's a very good point, Justin. Oh, but I love the matcha, the frozen matcha here at Animal Kingdom. Uh, that'll have to be for another time. Another time. We'll be back to, to Animal soon. That's true. We'll just have to take an afternoon and go to Animal. Right now, we are definitely headed for the safari, guys. <laughs> it's like they're moving faster than they were going to Everest. What? No. What? 
What are you talking about? I don't know. Just some silliness. So speaking of, there's Yak and Yeti. There is Yak and Yeti. One of our favorite restaurants here at Disney, guys. It's delicious. Magically delicious. Shannon says, can anyone explain to me my last comment? I was thinking so. I'm sure it was confusing. <laughs> JC's like, did I hear it correctly? It's okay if we don't get coffee. <laughs> Well, to be fair, she did already just, have a coffee. I did just have a coffee. So she's good for another 20 or 30 minutes, so we're Maybe. good. Maybe. Maybe. If it comes down to an emergency, we'll set up an IV tap when we get home. <laughs> get some... Get some... <laughs> oh my God. Some black cold straight to the veins. Here's the uh, feathered friends in flight. We've been able to see this show quite a few times lately. Yeah. It's been awesome. It's I love the show. toucan. Oh, and let's talk about how epic was it that when we were on Everest, there was a rainbow? Yeah, right? I was like, okay, this is a good sign, right? Or is it bad? Hopefully a good sign. <laughs> I would think good, right? I mean, we were able to complete the mountain challenge. That's true. But oh, that no. was really awesome to see a rainbow. Jeff Condon! Jeff Condon. First off, thank you for renewing your membership, <laughs> Jeff Condon. Also, thank you for the 1999 Super Chat that says, get coffee. Or, or don't. don't. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. We really appreciate it. Thank you that. kindly, Jeff. Oh, we are making our way over to the safari, everybody. We have less than five minutes left. Well, plenty of time. Plenty of time. Plenty, of, plenty time. of time. Yeah. <gasps> the tree looks beautiful. I got to take a oh, photo. No. But there's not plenty of time. But there's plenty of time. Oh, I didn't turn it around. Turn it around. Show them the tree. It's so pretty. It is very pretty. Shannon Blankenship says the Kobe beef burger at Yak and Yeti is like heaven on a gluten-free bun. Oh my gosh, Kobe beef burger? Ooh. We've not had that yet. That does sound really wow. good. That sounds amazing. Simon Rogers is like, plenty of time. I'll pop the kettle on. <laughs> Len's like, you know, Ron would be there by now. But he would have missed out on some beautiful sights. Like, look at this. Come on, let's go. Oh, okay. I'm coming. That's plenty of time. Four minutes. We're already in the, the port of Harambe. Four minutes. Plenty of time. Oh no, our, our shortcut's closed. Oh, we don't have plenty of time. We gotta go. Um, why is there so Oh, it's not. Minutes? All right, we're good. <laughs> plenty of time. Plenty of time. <laughs> I was like, why is our shortcut closed? There's some construction happening here. There is. Entrance prohibited. Thank you. Ministry of Public Works. We're not going that way anyways. All right, so. As we pass, uh, show the hidden Mickey on the wall. Well, okay. not so hidden. Not, not go in depth. Let's keep walking. Going depth. Like, don't go in detail. Oh, in depth. Like, oh, understood. All right, let's no, go to no, the store no, real quick. Come this way. Well, there's air conditioning here. Fine. We're not gonna make it. We'll make it. We're not gonna make it. I'm more concerned about the 11 percent battery life. Well, that's not gonna make it either. Yeah, I'm gonna have to plug it in and hope that it stays alive for the safari. Oh my goodness, guys. Is and that a you're, hummingbird? You're going the wrong way. I'm not going the wrong way. There's a hummingbird right here. You're going the wrong way. Do you see the hummingbird? Oh my god, the hummingbird. What? That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were kidding. I couldn't get her attention, guys. She didn't get to see the hummingbird. I thought you were joking. She should listen, but she I doesn't didn't listen. I think you were serious. <laughs> I thought you were, like, messing with me. Look at that, guys. Plenty of time. We had about a minute. <laughs> a minute to spare? A minute to spare. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. The hummingbird was absolutely stunning. I've never seen a hummingbird at Disney before. That was beautiful. I was like, I thought you were... I didn't think you were serious. I'm sorry. <laughs> Color says they're not going to make it. They made it. Wait, made that's it. the end of the dinosaur, right? We made it with two minutes to spare, guys. Jeff Davis says the ADHD with these two right now is insane. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's like, we're going to have to start calling them park detours. <laughs> That's possible. We made it. We We've did. Done, we, set, we did everything we set out to do. And more. And more. Yeah. There really was a hummingbird then. Yeah, the hummingbird was stunning. Like, I yeah, wasn't kidding. I didn't really have a chance to zoom in on it, but yeah. Really pretty little hummingbird. It was beautiful. I've never seen a hummingbird at Disney World before. To see some of the many remarkable animals that call the savannah home. Seeing animals in their natural habitat can be one of the most rewarding.
rewarding and memorable experiences after your life. Uh, yeah. CM. CM? Thank you. What? Uh, CM sent us a, uh, a $60 Venmo for completing the challenge. Enjoy the screamings, enjoy the efforts. Well, thank you so much, CM. Thank you so much, CM. We really appreciate that. Super kind, super generous. It really we is. really appreciate that. Thank you, CM. Thank you so much, CM. We're not tired. Who's tired? Not us. No, never. <laughs> Feet don't fail us now. We'll sit soon on a safari that might like throw us out of the yeah, out of thing. the safari. <laughs> oh, oh goodness. My goodness. Thank you again so Thank much you for so the much, CM. very, very kind and generous Venmo CM. Thank you. We really appreciate that. Let's turn it back around. Yeah. Hello, hello. I'm fine, you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Jumbo. We are almost ready to board you on our safari. We might be on the last safari. <laughs> we might be. Oh wow. That's never happened. Right? That's cool. Before you actually enter the loading area, please Thank you so much. Trash Wait, which way? I'm sorry. To the right. To the right. Gotcha. I listen. I couldn't hear. <laughs> hey, Will. All right. Yeah. I mean, unless we're the only ones on, in which case we'll probably want to sit closer to the driver, too. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we can do row one. Okay. That way we can. Yeah. We've never done row one. We've never. Oh my goodness. Agree, JJ Mickey. To ensure a safe and pleasant trip, you should be in good health and free from high blood pressure, heart, back or neck problems, motion sickness, hey, or other conditions hey, Rusty. that could be aggravated by this adventure. Hey, Mary. Rusty says six days until I can ride Everest for the first time. That's awesome. Did you read JJ Mickey's? Like, Lynn Mother, we just need the hummingbird cake now. Oh, yeah. I love the hummingbird cake at Homecoming. is so good, guys. If you've not had it, we highly recommend it if you like pineapple, coconut, a delicious cake. It's so good. All right. This looks like it might be our safari. Forest Paws? Oh, my goodness. 1999 Super Sticker. Thank you so much, Forest Paws. That's awesome. Gracias. All right, this is our safari. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Oh. If it helps at all, we have 600 people watching right now, so wow. it's not really a, a private private tour. <laughs> okay. You okay with that? I mean, okay, we have six oh people watching right now, oh, if six that helps. Make six makes better? Makes okay. Whatever makes you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make my friend on the right hand side. Watch your hands, arms, feet, and legs. You should be sliding shut. Thanks so much. Jumbo friends, my name is Charm, just like the bracelet, and I'm gonna be your guide today to the Harambe Wildlife Reserve. How y'all doing? Always good. Good? Right. So before we get started, just a couple of things I'd like to go over with you very quickly. For your safety, my safety, and the safety of all of our animal friends, please make sure that we remain fully seated throughout the duration of our trip and that we're keeping our hands, arms, feet, and legs fully inside the vehicle at all times. If you look right on above your head, you need the animal spotting guide that has every single animal hanging out here on the reserve. And although I can't promise you or see all of them, if we work together, I'm sure we'll have some pretty good luck. Now we're heading on into the Lillitree Forest. And the Lillitree Forest is home to some of the shyer animals out here on the reserve. And then they do something called camouflage. Now, do you guys know what camouflage means? Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So camouflage is an animal you really blend in, right? Exactly. Although, if we look over to our right hand side, I'm seeing somebody do a pretty bad job of blending in, if I'm being completely honest. <laughs> and that is the Okapi. Now, the Okapi might look like a zebra because you're super neat pants, right? but they're actually a relative of the giraffe. And the way that we can tell this is because both the okapi and the giraffe have a really neat feature called a prehensile tongue. This means that their tongue acts the same way that our fingers do. And it allows them to reach all the way up into the leaves and bushes and grab down a little snack to eat. 
Have you guys gotten the chance to check out the Gorilla Falls Trail today? Not, Not today. today. Oh, but you've done it before? Oh, oh yes. So you've seen the Okapi skull and the giraffe skull right next to each other? I know. It's so neat. It really Over is. Over there is on the left hand side, oh, the black the rhino. Oh, there's two black rhinos. Hey, guys. The black rhino is actually the smaller and the smaller rhino what? on the reserve, and they only weigh about three thousand pounds. So he's just oh a little goodness. guy, you know, only three thousand pounds. So just cute! A little guy. Oh my god, so now, beautiful. Do you guys know how to tell the difference between a black rhino and a white rhino? How? So the easiest way to do it is by looking at their mouths. So the black rhino has a pointed mouth. Watch the white rhino has a wide and flat mouth. I gotta make a call real quick. I'll be right back. You're good. There's no copy. Right? There's no copy? No, that's the, uh, Safari 24? It's one of the ghosts of the forest, I think. The, uh, the bongo? I'm holding for some bongos drinking from a pond in the middle of the road. <laughs> we get to see the bongos up close and personal. That's pretty awesome. Sorry, I have to shut off my mic to make the radio call. No, you're good. But yeah, the bongos are called the ghost of the forest, and the okapi is the unicorn of the forest. That's pretty awesome. It's been a hot day, so I'm not surprised he's getting a drink. I know. Anytime there's a puddle like this, this always ends up happening. Oh no. He's like, all right, I've gotten my fair share. We're good now. <laughs> Where's your from Safari 24? I'm back on the move. Alright, we're back guys. So the bongo and the greater kudu over there, which are those lighter tan guys, they have a really neat adaptation about them, which is that they have stripes. So animals who live in a forest environment like this with stripes, the stripes are really good at helping them to blend in and camouflage. Because what the stripes do is they actually mimic the effect of light and shade, filtering into the leaves and branches of all the trees in the forest. So, they're kind of really good at hiding in plain sight. If the bongos of the greater kudu were in a bunch of bushes, because of those light stripes on them, it'll look like there's nothing there at all, and that light is just shining right through them. As you're heading on out of the little tree forest, and into the Safi River, so you're gonna see some of the more aquatic species of wildlife that are hanging out here on the reserve today. Ooh, I see some now. Coming up on your right hand side are some pink back pelicans. Now, do you guys know what the pink back pelican is called? The pink back pelican? Do they have a pink back? Wow, how did you know? <laughs> so the pink back pelican gets their name from that pink back, which actually gets a lot brighter during mating season. How long the pelicans blush in? Pink back pelicans are also colonial nesters, which means that they come back to the same spot year after year to nest. Wow. Ooh, coming up on oh, your left hand a... side is a bloat of a Nile hippopotamus. A group of hippos together like this is called a bloat. And the funny thing about hippos is they don't know how to swim. So even though they live in the water, they can't swim. So instead of swimming, what the hippos do is they walk along the bottom of the river. And their big size actually is what helps them cut through the water resistance. Because if you've ever tried walking in water, it's kind of tricky, right? It is. But their size, because they're so big, helps them walk really fast. And hippo can go pretty fast underwater. They can go anywhere. Oh my goodness, look at the babies! <laughs> Sorry, just look at them eating the little grass. That's so cute. <laughs> a hippo can go anywhere from 8 to 15 miles an hour underwater. <laughs> They're pretty fast. Put up on your left hand side are some Nile crocodiles just chilling in the sun. Now the Nile crocodile is super cool because they have the strongest bite strength of any animal out here on the reserve. They have a bite strength of around 2,000 pounds of pressure per square inch. Now although they have that super duper strong jaw, they can also be very gentle. So do you guys know how chickens incubate their eggs? By sitting on them, right? Right. Do you guys know how crocodiles incubate their eggs? They also sit on them? In their mouth. Oh. oh. Both the male and female crocodile will do this, and they'll hold the egg in their mouth until they're ready to hatch. 
Wow. But even if then you put the crocodile, your little bitty baby, if there's any babies in the area, baby crocodile will hop on into their mom or dad's mouth to stay nice and safe. <laughs> it's kind of funny if you ever want to look it up. <laughs> Coming up on your right hand side, that big old tree is called the Bayabob tree. The Bayabob tree is also known as the tree of life. Just like that tree of life in the center of our park. And they get that nickname because for nine months out of the year, they don't have any leaves on them. And this helps them to conserve water. The Bayabob tree is super duper good at conserving water. So good in fact that other animals out here on the reserve will actually go up to the Bayabob tree to get a drink if they're feeling thirsty. Safari one off at Safi. Now we are headed into the savannah. And this will give you a pretty good view of all the animals that are hanging out over here. Who is out and about today. Oh my goodness, guys, if we look over to the right hand side, you're gonna see the baby Hartman's mountain zebras. They've only been out here for like a week. They're so cute. Also, on your right hand side are some Ancoli cattle. These Ancoli cattle are one of two domesticated species of animals that live out here on the reserve. And you might be thinking, charm. Those big horns might be super duper heavy, right? Well, they're actually very light. The Ancoli cattle's horns are hollow and they're filled with a honeycomb like structure of blood vessels. This honeycomb-like structure of blood vessels helps to keep them nice and cool throughout the hot summer months. Do you guys see the baby zebra lying down? So that is a baby Hartman's mountain zebra. And there's two baby Hartman mountain zebras out here. The baby zebras have a very neat adaptation, which is that they can actually imprint on their mom or dad's stripe pattern. Those two zebras are exactly the same, and it's very easy for them to get lost in the herd. So by imprinting on their mom and dad's stripes, the baby zebras are able to easily recognize who's mom or dad and who's not. A herd of zebras, do you guys know what it's called? Any guesses? A uh, uh, herd? It's called a dazzle. A, a dazzle. dazzle of zebras. And this is actually because their stripes create a really cool like optical illusion type of effect in which if all the zebras are together in one spot, it kind of looks like it's sparkling. So that's how they got their name. That's a really cool way of uh Right? Oh, big old mounds of dirt and termite mounds. Termite mounds get really hard in the sun. And some of the bigger animals out here on the reserve like to use my back scratchers. <laughs> now you have a pretty big piece of termite mount as your back scratcher, so. You also don't have to mind if uh, you pick up some termites along the way. I know. So like the giraffes and the elephants that live out here and love to use my back scratchers. I saw a giraffe scratch his back on one earlier today. Really? Yeah, it was silly. <laughs> Those gray fellas are wildebeest. Wildebeest are migratory herd animals, which means that they all move together in one big group. Every year, the wildebeest make a big migration all the way across Africa. This migration can be anywhere from 500 to 1,000 miles, and it's made up of about 1.5 million wildebeest. So imagine going from New York to Florida with 1.5 million of your family members. Good. The migration is so big that it actually creates a dust cloud that can be seen from outer space. Have you guys ever made that trip before? Outer space or to... Oh, yeah, the outer space, you know. <laughs> casual little 15 minute drive. 15 minute drive. <laughs> Up to New York? Not yet. Not yet? That'd be really neat. Oh, I'm from Connecticut, so oh. I made that trip like last month. <laughs> We've got a lot of friends in here from Connecticut as well, so they're going to oh, be very yeah. excited to hear that. <laughs> now, you see how that thing about you has always poked into it? That's a sign that we're entering into elephant territory. That means an elephant actually went up to the baobab tree, poked holes in it with its tusk and got a drink. So we gotta keep our eyes peeled to see if we can see any elephants hanging out around here. Hmm. JJ Mickey's like, Connecticut in the house! <laughs> <laughs> oh, over on the left hand side, is the, that's our culprit. All the way back there in that left hand corner are some African elephants. Can you see them? Way back there. Look at the African elephants. 
There's a young one back there too. When a group of elephants are together like that in a big group, it's pretty safe to assume they're all female. Because elephants travel in something known as matriarchies, which means that the oldest female elephant is normally the one that's in charge. Once male elephants reach a certain age, they tend to be a lot more solitary and they'll go up on their own. Although, every now and then, they're known to form something called bachelor herds, which is made up of like one or two male elephants, but those don't normally last for very long. Keep an eye out to your left hand side if you want to see another elephant hanging out over there. Now we are coming up on some greater flamingo. And oh my goodness guys, this is just like the most beautiful view out of any spot on the safari. This is probably my favorite area right here. Isn't that beautiful? You can see the elephants and the flamingos. When I get to the middle, you'll see it better. But we are coming up on the greater flamingo. The greater flamingo is the largest species of flamingo. And that has something to do with why they're a lighter pink color. Do you guys know how flamingos get their color? It's uh, from the food they eat, right? From the food they eat, yeah. So flamingos eat a special kind of shrimp called brine shrimp. And brine shrimp has a protein in it called beta carotene. And that beta carotene is what turns the flamingos pink. Since the greater flamingo is the largest species of flamingo, they need a lot more amount of that beta, of that beta carotene, so they need a higher concentration of it to get that bright pink color that we all know and love. Now, do you guys know what a flock of flamingos is called? It's got good alliteration, so it's fun to say. <laughs> what? A flock of flamingos. Ooh, look what's in the left another elephant. <laughs> a flock of flamingos is called the flamboyance. A flamboyance of flamingos. Now, we're heading up on some mud wallows. And can you guys guess what kind of animal lives in the mud wallow? Animals that like the mud. Yeah, yeah. valid. Uh... We've seen white rhino out here before. Yeah, that's exactly right. The white rhinos love to hang out in the mud wallows and they'll actually roll around in the mud to help cool them down on these hot summer days. And the mud kind of acts like a sunscreen to them and helps keep them nice and safe. We actually saw another animal that uses mud as sunscreen. Any guesses? The elephant? Yeah. So the elephants actually cover themselves in hay and mud and dirt. It's really funny if you ever walk out and they're covered in it because you look like they have a little straw hat on. <laughs> and there's one more animal that actually makes its own sunscreen. Any guesses? Um, I think a big gray fella. Uh, the hippo? Yeah. Oh, over on your left hand side are some cheetahs. Cheetahs are the fastest land mammal and they can go from zero to 60 miles an hour in just about three seconds. Goodness. Last truck over east west. Cheetahs have a super neat adaptation, which is that they have non-retractable claws. And that non-retractable claws acts kind of like a cleat for the cheetahs and lets them run super duper fast, like how football players wear cleats. Now coming up on Kobe Rocks. Do you guys know animal lives in Kobe Rocks? Any any guesses? I don't I don't really know. The unicorn. Oh basically. Well we've got the, the lion. <gasps> got a water oh, buck right here. Oh it is. Yeah. Oh my god. And what's that right That's there? That's a water oh, buck. So do you see how the water buffs look kind of like scraggly? That's because they should create uh, oil from their skin that makes them hydrophobic, which means that it repels water. Do so you know how water like rolls off your raincoats and rain boots? Water rolls off the water buffs just like that. Let me get you guys a better view of this lion. We never see the lion out there. It's super rare that he's awake too, because lions sleep about 16 to 20 hours a day, and there's only 24 hours in the day, so they spend the majority of their day asleep. I've only seen them awake like one or two times. Lions do most of their hunting at night. And at night, a lion's eyes shut. Oh, he's growling. Not only did you see the lion, you got to hear him roar. Did you hear that? Oh, there he goes with a yawn, too. <laughs> that was so cool. I've never heard the lion <laughs> roar before. That's so, <laughs> that's really cool that we got to hear that. It's more of like a grunt, right? Yeah. Like, ooh. <laughs> but uh, a lion has six times better eyesight than a human being does at night. And the female lion will go out and hunt, whilst the male lion will stay home and protect their pride. A lion's roar can be heard up to a mile away. That 
was so neat. I'm like in shock a little bit over it. That was so cool. <laughs> Have you guys heard the lion roar before? We've been on the safari so many times now. We we moved here a year ago, and uh -huh. we have never seen the lion. Oh wow! Yeah, they're normally not out during the day because you get really hot. It does. So they'll go down and they'll take a little nap. All right, are you ready for a pop quiz? Uh -oh. Here we go. Herd of zebra. What would they be called? Do you remember what a herd of zebra is, honey? I don't. You don't remember? No. No. It's a. Is it a dazzle? A dazzle. dazzle. That's a right. dazzle of zebra. Oh my goodness. I okay. Okay. It. What about um? Hmm. A flock of flamingos. Oh, flamboyants. I remember, I remember that, that one. one. <laughs> This one I didn't even say, but do you know what a group of hippos is called? I might have said it really quick. A group of hippos. Oh, oh something with a B. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, it was something silly sounding, like you would attribute to a hippo because they're big. Like I a, remember oh. bongo, but it's not bongo. I was thinking like... Uh, you're very uh, close. Uh, so, it's like right there. I can't... We failed. It rhymes with flow. And it starts with a B. It rhymes with flow and it starts with a B. It's a float. or it's a bloat. A bloat <laughs> of hippos. <laughs> Alright, what about a group of giraffes? Oh goodness. Uh, the tower. tower. Yeah, a tower of giraffes. That's good. Alright, hard one. You're never gonna guess it. What's my favorite color? Uh oh. Yeah. Uh, green. Mm -mm. No. What do you think, honey? Blue. Close. Uh, We're close purple. To blue. Purple, yeah. Hey. Oh, you got it. Well, it looks like our journey is coming <laughs> to an end, my friend. And I hope you got to not just see all these amazing animals, but also remember their stories. Because sadly, a lot of our animal friends out here are endangered, which means that they might not be around for too much longer. If you'd like to help out, you can make a donation to the Disney Conservation Fund at any local at any merchant store within the park. Every donation made will be matched dollar per dollar by the Walt Disney Corporation, and you'll get a snazzy new pin out of it. I hope you guys had fun and you got to see your favorite animals out here today, did you? We did. Yeah. What are your favorites? Seeing the lion yeah. is amazing. Oh, yeah. So thank you for that. Yeah, of course. Here on the Harambe Wildlife Preserve, we don't like to say goodbye because it sounds so sad and so final. So once again, my name is Charm, just like the bracelet. Thank you so much for coming out here and hanging out with me today. I'd like to leave you with one of my favorite Swahili words, which is Kwaharini. And that means to go well. I hope you guys go well and have an amazing rest of your night. Thank you so much, Charlie. Thank you so much. I'm glad you guys came out here. <laughs>
If you are considering subscribing, if you have subscribed, if you will subscribe, thank you so much. Thank and you. we'll turn it around so you guys can see all Animal the beautiful view views of Animal Kingdom. Absolutely. Thank, thank you, everybody. You. That was amazing. That's a safari. Oh my gosh. Gosh, and there's so many animals everywhere, like flying around. It's so cool. <laughs> Jeff Conan says, Monica, you and Charm in the same room. Too much sweetness in one place. <laughs> oh, Charm was an absolute sweetheart. She was so sweet. <sighs> oh my goodness. I'm still like not over the fact of seeing the lion. That was such a and cool And the baby zebras. Such a cool safari. And we almost didn't make it on. But you know, there were still two uh, groups after us. There were, but I wonder if they're a private tour group or something, you know? Oh, I don't know. But it was amazing. We were the only uh, guests on our safari bus. We were. So that was an experience we've never had before. Exactly. And I think it was really cool riding right behind uh, the driver. Yeah, because we so got we to could talk interact to her. Like and yeah. like, yeah. That was awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining us for that. <laughs> I know it's not exactly what we had in mind as part of our mountain challenge day but you know it's mountain nice challenge addition. plus more <laughs> mountain and safari challenge <laughs> hey squirrel hey buddy where's he off to <laughs> to intercept <laughs> any food we might have on us i guess i'm like <laughs> so the shift manager we do not have any more mountains to ride we have ridden all of the mountains in walt disney world all of the mountains mountain challenge park hopper twist complete it absolutely is but, you know, we still have some battery life. We're still walking around. We're, we're still enjoying our day here, so. We hope you are too. Hey, birdies. Like animals everywhere. I love this park. <laughs> hey, Terry. Hey, Marcella. Hey, Singer. This Shannon Blankenship says, Charm is so nice and sweet. She would make a great next wife. Uh, just saying. <laughs> hey, John. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Marcella. All right, you want to walk? Uh, I think we have to go straight ahead. I think I that is the way they want us to go. <laughs> hey, David. Oh my goodness. What's Kyle going on? R. Kyle Har sent us a $5 super chat. Oh, thank you so much, Kyle. Kyle says, great end to a Sunday night. Thanks for the mountain challenge and the awesome safari ride. Have a great night. Well, thank you so much, Kyle. Thank Lara. you so much, Kyle. You want to turn it around real quick? Yeah. I mean, that was, the view is prettier. The view is very pretty. I'm going to try to put it behind us here. Yeah, let's see if I can take a selfie with the mountain real quick. Okay. Thank you so much, Kyle. Lara. Here we go. Selfie. Oh, it's going to rain. It's, yeah. It's going to storm. Do you want uh, to end it here in front of Everest? And just hustle back to Magic and get back to the TTC. Do you guys want to go on the bus ride with us? We can take them back on the bus ride. Yeah. Okay. All right, we just got to make it to the bus as quick as possible. All right, before... let's go, let's go. Yeah. Well, my hair is starting to look like feathers. <laughs> He's part of the Animal Kingdom experience, right? guys. That's all. All right, guys, I'm going to turn the camera back around. Uh, we're going to have to reset soon. Yeah. Uh, just because my chat stopped. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. All right, guys, let's turn it right back around. Thank you so much, everybody. And thank you, jo uh, Joshua. Uh, that was Kyle. Kyle, thank you, Kyle. Yeah. I'm so sorry about that. Okay. Let's turn it back around here. Hey, Monica. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Regine. Hey, why it's Grampy? Oh, were the tamarind? Um, no, they were in bed. Oh, they were away. Yep. I'm so glad we got to see them again today. Oh, yeah. I was like, a Starbucks, like, in Magic Kingdom where it stays open a little later? I don't know. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. It's always different. What, Magic Kingdom? No, the Starbucks, when they stay open later. Oh, I get you. They don't always do that. No, I think Animal pretty much closes at 7. Uh, the stores, I think, stay open for at least half an hour after, but... It's already 7.30. Gotcha. Hey, Marcel. This was an amazing afternoon. Well, good. We're glad you enjoyed it. Hey, Carrie Dunn. Great to see you.
congratulations on your engagement, John. That's wonderful. Absolutely. And don't be nervous, John. If she's the one, she's the one. Uh, so, Kylar, I believe so, yes. So, a yeah. mobile cast compliment on the app. Mm -hmm. You can find it on the app. When you open up the Disney Experience app, the hamburger's on the right bottom corner. You and click there. By hamburger, we mean the three dashes. Oh, yeah, the, little three, the three little lines. Yep. And then you scroll down, and you'll see the one that says cast compliment. That's where you can leave a cast compliment for any cast member you wish. Absolutely. Yeah, um, Charm was our safari driver, and she was so sweet. She was. Goodbye, Tree of Life. Good night, Tree of Life. Thank you for uh, bringing us Everest in an awesome safari today. Oh, thank you so much, Tony. We appreciate that. We do. That jump was cool. I love, like, right now the tree looks so pretty. It does. All right, guys, while we're looking at the tree, I'm going to do a quick refresh and we'll be right back, all right? Wow, look at that sunset. So That's awesome. Pretty. It is. Thank you so much, Marianne. Thanks for letting us know that we're back. All right. Alex J says, Park Hopper's bedtime in the UK for me. Thank you for an excellent time and for sharing and catch you on the next one. Thank you so much, Alex J. Thank you, Alex. Have a great night. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. Thank you. Welcome back, Megan. Hope dance went well. Monica Valencia says, that's Colombian music. Congratulations! Awesome. What a beautiful location. Sapp oh. Sapphire voice said, "You popped the question yet?" <laughs> <laughs> Mark was saying, "Park Hoppers, where did you move to Florida from?" Well, Mark, we are uh, native Floridians. We are. So we moved from other parts of Florida. Hannah Anderson says, how nice, you guys had a private store in the safari, so cool. I just got through watching, what a sweet, uh, sweetie charm is, absolutely. Yes, Hannah. Charlie Orlando says, I just sent a compliment to Disney for charm, she was charming. She really was, right? That was amazing, though. We've never had our, our own, like, safari tour, that was right? so cool. But yeah, the highlights of the safari, we're definitely seeing the baby zebras and the lions. Oh, yeah. And the lion roaring and yawning. That was really cool. That was really cool. And then we rode Everest for the first time today. Well, I rode Everest for the first time today. You rode Everest for the first time in a long time today. In a very long time, yeah. And we saw a rainbow at the top of Everest. That was pretty cool. I was like, I hope this is a good sign, seeing a beautiful rainbow, right? Right? I saw that rainbow and I was like, all right, well, at least if this is my time, it was pretty. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yes, exactly. Kind of for the first time in forever. Hey, bibbity bobbity bro. Oh, thank you, JJ Mickey. Yes, we have a P.O. box, guys, if you would like to send us stuff. That's our P.O. box. Yep. Hey, Fred. Happy mail, hate mail, just no bills. Oh, well, more, more so happy mail. More so happy mail. Happy things. All right. Almost out of Animal Kingdom. Uh, Going to be taking the bus back to Magic. Let's see if there's anything to see here real quick before we do. Hey, pretty birdie. Oh my gosh, that's a baby duck right there. Is it? Do you see the baby? Oh my goodness, it is. Right over here. I was like, is that a baby? Oh my goodness. So cute. Oh. 
I love how it's like learning to walk. Mm -hmm. Zori says, I thought she said Happy Meals. I mean, we'll take Happy Meals. I'm a big kid now. Oh, especially if it includes the uh, the toys. The toy. I, I like the Happy Meal toys. <laughs> especially when they're like Squishmallows or like Disney related toys. Yeah. Those are pretty fun. Beautiful baby dog. All right, let's head over to the bus. Yeah. All right, uh, let's see if we can get back yeah, to Magic soon. Here. Hey, Tana. Hey, Tanya. No, or Tana. 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 Tana, excuse me. I'm pretty sure, yes. Hey, hey, Kim. Hey, hey, Kim. Well, thank you for ninja watching. Oh, it's Little Mermaid toys this month from uh, McDonald's. That's Tana, awesome. Tana says, does Shannon drive you crazy? Oh, does, drive, does Shannon drive you all crazy? Well, you should, right? That's that's the goal. Crazy in the best way, Tana. Exactly. It's no fun to just, you know, just be. You gotta, gotta be something, right? <laughs> Oh boy, battery's not going to last a whole lot longer, but hopefully it can at least take us back to... Do you think it'll last for, uh, to the bus? I hope so. Okay. That's what I'm hoping for, is well, that guys, we can... If it, well, maybe we should just end it in front of Animal Kingdom, so in case the battery, you know, we don't want to lose the stream altogether. That's fair. We could do it in, with the Animal Kingdom True. sign behind us, that's kind of pretty. That is really pretty. Like right here? Huh? Like right here? Uh, I think so. Yeah. What do you think? I think so. You ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I like to be on the All right. Uh, let me have you hold the gimbal for a second if I yeah, can. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Fred says, did you guys see the Lion King today? I think technically we did. We saw a lion. Simba. Like, I mean, literally the lion. Yeah. King. <laughs> On the safari. King of the safari. He the roared, he yawned, like, it was pretty epic. He still our hearts. Hey, Robert. Welcome back, Charlie Orlando. All right, guys, let's see. Okay, all done there. You ready to turn around? Yeah. So guys, thank you all so much for... Uh, Wait, we got to see the beautiful Animal Kingdom sign. There we go. Kind thank, of see it. Thank you all so much for being a part of our mountain challenge today, everybody. Thank you for being here for the first time that I rode uh, Expedition Everest. Monica's first time in forever. Yeah. Thank you for being a part of our first live stream on Space Mountain as well. Uh, and a part of one of the most amazing safaris we've ever been on. We really appreciate you guys. Thank yeah. you for being here today. Thank you for all of your encouragement. Thank you for not letting us... Uh, just stick around in Magic Kingdom and uh, avoid Expedition Everest because we would have missed out on that amazing safari. So that safari was so that was a perfect way to wrap up our mountain challenge day too. It was like yeah. It's been an amazing day, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being a part of it, and we'll be back tomorrow. Oh yeah, tomorrow Epcot, guys. We gotta see um, Simple Plan. We do. When this video ends, guys, we're going to be sending you over to Ron on the Go for his live stream tomorrow morning, Monday morning. Uh, I don't remember what he's doing. I think it's, uh, if I remember correctly, Hollywood Studios and the resorts on the Skyliner. So that'll yeah. be really cool. He'll be at one of the Disney parks. Yeah. And we'll be at Epcot tomorrow. We'll be enjoying Simple Planning Concert, guys. If you'd like to be a part of that, please consider being, uh, being there with us. Also, if you haven't, please consider uh, subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us again in the future. Hit that like button if you haven't as well. We'd really appreciate that. Guys. We are the Park Hoppers, we're Monica and Eric. We really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you to everyone for watching. Thank you so much to our moderators. Thank you so much to everyone on Patreon who joined our membership, who's been a member, everyone who's renewed. Thank you to everyone who gave us a Venmo, a PayPal, a, a super sticker, a super chat. Thank you guys, we really appreciate Thank that. Thank you. Thank you to our Patreon members as well. 
YouTube channel subscribers, uh, members, uh, thank you to our moderators who we can't do this without. So thank you to everybody in chat and thank you to all Ninja Watchers as always. And we hope you guys have an amazing, amazing evening. Have a great week ahead because I know it's Sunday, it's the start of a lot of people's weeks. So have a great week, come out of it unscathed and we'll see you throughout the week. Yeah. Hopefully we'll see you guys tomorrow at Epcot for a simple plan. Absolutely. Yeah. Have a great night, everybody. Good night, guys. Oh, I thought more than